Hello, Commanders. Welcome back to Lewis and Ben. Save the world! Today, we're going to look at Mechanicus. <laughs> so, this is um, the 40k strategy game. We were playing this before, and we did a previous yeah. couple of streams, and they've had quite a, a patch. But a big update that we've not really read through the patch notes for. And but it's changed a lot of stuff. Can we show some Yeah, things? we asked them to make it much, much harder. And they've done that. And hopefully they have, yeah. They've made all of our stuff cost more and do less damage. So first of all, we had we had three guys. Okay, we've got mm -hmm. three, three tech priests. This this guy yep. is our Dominus. Dominus. Yep. That's Dominus. Like a leader, he gets, he's got completely different skills, it feels like. Plus oh, four yeah. range for ranged weapons. I don't remember that being a thing. His servo skull deals one damage to a target. His machine spirit attacks deal plus two damage. And his Enagia enhancers cost minus one condition point to use. Now, I don't know okay. what they are. Um, so he's he feels very different. So what, he are, what is an Enagia enhancer? I think they're a support item you can put on that makes your um, makes your weapons deal more damage. Right, so we, can't, we haven't even got access to those yet. No oh, shit. Bizarre. I feel like we wouldn't have researched that if we'd known no, it didn't work. Probably not. Uh, but obviously he's got two macro stubbers. However, okay. these macro stubbers now use a cognition point to fire. They used to be free. Oh, they have been seriously Wow. Uh, so he, we need to completely rearm this guy then, because he was meant to be our gunslinger yeah. who goes in and just pew pews for free and doesn't use us any cocks. Now I think he also used to have, I'm sure he used to have a thing that gave him plus damage to energy weapons, but that seems to have gone as well. Oh no, but no, there, there it is. Plus one energy damage. So, okay. Should we so re-equip let's, let's take the macro stubbers off, um, yeah. because I think they're not so hot anymore. And we, we don't want to use the cognition point. So hang on, this is just, we're gonna have so, to re-equip everything, yeah. probably. So for anyone who hasn't, um, this is a good time to this. get back in. It's a good time to get back in, because we're basically starting fresh. Um, the way it works is we have like two or three of these tech priest guys who go into a dungeon and they go looking for loot and then sometimes run into enemies. And then when you have a fight, you, you generate a certain number of cognition points per turn that we call cocks. And then all of your attacks and special abilities cost a number of cogs to use. And usually you want to spend more than you generate. So you have to run around the map and pick them up from the map and you get them from killing enemies. Um, and now we've got this guy who, okay, so he's gone back to gunslinging, I guess. So. So sorry. So we, we, I basically just wanted him to not use our cogs, really. Right. So now he's. On we'll give him a go with that, and we'll see where this leads. Okay. We'll leave him. Can we give him other skill. upgrades? Like, because we gave him the. He's you become a priority target. He's like the tank, right? He yeah. has taunt, and we should give him the thing that gives him armor if he's going to have the taunt. Instead of like this, you mean? Yeah. Like another. Just give him more, more, more clothes. More clothes. All right. Fine. And is he missing any clothes? Could he have legs as well, I guess? I haven't got any points. So anyway, this is the Secutor. Right. He, is he makes our chumps better. Right, so yes, he has this buff to yeah. go for chumps, which seems like it hasn't been changed. Um, although cognitive canisters have a minus one cooldown, which again, do we okay. have those? Don't cognitive know. canisters. No. I can't find any of those. Don't seem to have any of those. So yeah, that's a bit annoying. And um, yeah, so he's level seven as well. He's all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he should have one, two, three, four, five, seven augments. Yeah, this all this all seems to be because we encountered a few bugs when we played the last time. Well, we've got a thousand blackstone that we can spend on upgrading everyone. We can. So yeah, we're gonna have to. I think we're just gonna have to play a mission. I think with this, we've got the arc scourge on him, and a blast pistol and an axe. Feels pretty standard. And we gave this guy an axe last time. We gave him actually two weapons. So he, this is the guy who used to be our tech auxilium, which is our most important. Yeah, Toto Peroto, he had an ability that he could use every three turns and it would let him use a gun for, for, for no cocks. So we gave him the biggest guns that cost the most and then just let him fire them for free. Yeah, but now it costs, it's reduced by two, mm. which is a significantly worse ability now, but maybe not, still not that bad. And he is a master of refractor, so refractor field generators. Okay. Game one, one cooldown plus two fields defense. He can also cast a canticle for free that can be used later in the mission. It does cost two. two cogs, which I don't think it used to. I don't feel like we would have gone for that. He's also got lex mechanics, so he gains one cognition point at the beginning of his turn if his gauge is empty. Yeah, that used to be just gain a cog every turn. Oh, did it? So that's been reduced that's as well. That's been nerfed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, we want to put this refractor for a generator on. We've already got one. Already got one. Um, do we want to have two? Is it worth having two mega cannons? If well, I seem to recall this one is machine spirit, no cognition points. Do you remember? Oh, that's right. And yeah. this one is 
condition cost reduced. So they both get cheaper the more you when buy the machine spirit. And also, they're we'll, we'll leave them as they are. Just okay, see we'll how see how it goes. Out. Because we have canticles that let us fire weapons for free as well. We have a, a canticle, which is like a spell we can use. Like a once per mission. In the mission, uh, which, which lets us cast the spell for free. All right, so we got a normal mission. <laughs> Bloody Teddy says, what is the law? Are these like the garlic robot from Space Hulk? That's exactly what they are. They are garlic man, yeah. Yeah, they are, they are people who love machines so much. The Adeptus Mechanicum worship machines, and so they've replaced most of their body with machine bits. And they've got like, their, their, their weak flesh disgusts them. As they get older and more accomplished, they replace more of themselves with robot bits. So basically, we are, we've landed on a, a, a Necron planet. Yeah, it's a Necron tomb horrible world. horrible Necrons. But we want to take all the loot. We need to find some, some treasure. Uh, so we've got a series of deployments. We've got we're twenty-eight percent through the game. Basically, you have to, uh, you've only got a limited amount of missions before yeah. you have to fight the final mission. And the um, sneakier you are, the less like percentage you do every time. Yeah. So we've got <coughs> a hard mission to kill Void Admiral Agrilek. Ooh. Seems like not the one to start with on this stream, but maybe we can try <laughs> it later. Uh, we've got an easy mission uh, to get a flayed one dead. We oh get man, getting the uh, Max Cog thing cog seems, size. Good. seems legit, doesn't it? Yeah. Actually? Um, we got this guy. Oh, a frag? Oh, that's a cognitive, cognitive canister. Oh, one of our guys likes those. So we actually do have a benefit from that. Uh, so, and What's yeah. that first one? That looks like a machine gun. What is it? That is a phosphor blaster. It shoots mm -hmm. multiple projects in a cone area. Sounds terrible. So we're not going to. This is crap. We don't want this one. Really. Okay, I just don't really want to do an easy mission. Well, there's two here, look. Oh. So this is the first sector. Mm -hmm. This is the second sector. Ah. So we can do a, a, a normal mission to get a cognition mechadendrite. Okay. Which Collect I think it cog. just gives you a your cog, cog, cog in two turns, turns which seems good. pretty legit. Oh, and an additional slot deployment mission. slot. That's cool. I think we should do this one. Yeah. Plague Wind. The fumes from the tube of Oobjow is damaging equipment and the morale of the Adeptus Mechanicus forces. Electrodogmatics Vigdex. This is this guy. Yeah, he's like the uh, the really religious. We need to plant guys. some sacred incense burners. Amazing. Okay, let's uh, cleanse this joint. So we're gonna take. We're allowed to take six. All of six our seaports. dudes, and we're gonna take. Oh, take one of the cool guys. Yeah. Two punch bots. Do we want the cool guy? He costs two cocks to deploy. If like that. And nine blackstone. No, and Blackstone's kind of meaningless. Yeah, all right, we'll bring him. Canticles are, restore 10 hit points. Maximum shoot through for weapons. Gain six condition points. They all sound amazing. You could change this one out to something that's different. You want to get like an emergency heal on? Nine condition points. Ooh. <laughs> well, our, our gauge just only goes up to like four, doesn't it? Maybe Feels five? Weird. Maybe? I can't remember. How about the next energy attack? We'll do a plus six energy damage. That's pretty good. The next four attacks would ignore, aren't they? Ooh. What enemies are we up against? Is it armored stuff or what? Well, uh, this might be useful, you know. An energy attack that deals deals a guaranteed six enemies mm. energy damage. We might need that. All right, let's just because I feel like healing for ten will be all right. Magos, the discovery of this. Oh, he's like a priest. Magos, the discovery of this new tomb is a cause for great perturbation. Oh, don't get perturbed. So this Faustinus, he is our leader. He's the super king in charge of the whole thing. Right? And he is um, able to put his emotions in, like... He can switch them on and off, can't he? This guy's basically just an old priest. There is one element of its foulness that cannot help be noticed by our personnel on the ground. The stench. The stench. <laughs> A tech priest cannot be dismayed by such things, but less augmented personnel are complaining vociferously about the matter. The fubes are actively damaging rebreather components. Levistians 7.14, bleak be the prospects when the black wind of heresy blows. This isn't really heresy, is it? Oh, or a Xenos? This whole planet is heresy. Oh, well, the Xenos heresy. Filthy Xenos, yeah. Okay. I didn't realize they were heretics. I thought it was more like chaos with heretics. Anyone who doesn't worship the divine emperor of mankind oh, is I a heretic. Oh, I see. Well, we haven't asked. Maybe they're up for it. Uh, they keep trying to kill us. So this is our ninth mission. All right. Ah, oh, now there's glyphs, okay? Okay. Remember, some of them are good, some of them some are bad. Some of them are bad, and we've forgotten. Globe. The bad. We have to stick our USB ports into the right glyph. This, this is like 
the smiley face is like good. This is a Mexican hat. The Mexican hat. We've never seen this one before. No, should we try the new one out? Find out if it's good or bad? Many female ports cover the outer. Yeah, we need to stick our male sockets in. Mm. Oh, no. Okay, so whatever that one was. That was a bad one. Not one we want to Don't click use. that one ever again. Let's go and have a try. Go and have a try. We, I think we started at zero anyway, so it didn't, wasn't too much. Oh, oh my god, what's this That's one? another new one. So this one is like a... What is it That's like? Praise the Sun. They all look a bit Praise the Sun. But this one is more like... It's like a, a grabby arm. It's like, no, it's like a saucepan. Oh, okay, sure. Saucepan. Saucepan is bad. Saucepan wakes up... Wakes up Necrons. Necrons. Fuck. Okay, we're not having a good run so far. <laughs> it's a bad start. Oh, but we have stuck our stuck our ports in a lot of things, so that's good. Chamber ahead is dominated by a hideous trophy of body parts, Ooh. in which she's a tattered skin. Okay, so do we want to take it apart? Do we want to blow it up, or do we want to set set fire? Burn it. I think that was the obvious Nothing option. Nothing remains. Also, it might fill the tomb with a nice smelly... Oh, oh we got three cogs out of it, though. God, the Necrons are fucking waking up. Yeah, there. the Necrons are hot Ideal. to trot today. We're going to go down here first, and then we're okay. going to go here and here. Just because I want to see what's in this gift as well. You're going to stick your port in another No, this is bad. Yes. This has always been okay, I think, this one. Mexicans I, is kind of middle of the road. Mexicans, I think it gives us... Oh, no. Oh. It hurt, hurt our robot friend. Mexicans are not good. This is not going smooth. So the more we wake them up, the less, the more that counts towards bad... Anything. Stephen Rocket says, patch notes, all glyphs are now bad. <laughs> feels like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Maybe they've been changed, though. Maybe, that's, that's the true. thing. Like, maybe, maybe they've been changed and we need to try them all out again. All right, so you've got deploy now, your three guys. We've got three cognition, so maybe we save that uh, um, for firing the gun. And no, you don't want to deploy punch bars. Well, you can deploy it all, and then we'll generate one for free. Ah, yes, and look, this cog's like right by our deployment zone. So if we grab those up, fire the super cannon straight away blow up whatever we're fighting what are we fighting against um quite a lot of things we've got flayed one immortal right there. warrior got that thing warrior flayed one flayed one this is this is already a lot harder i'm worried about deploying punch bots immediately though because they're very slow but they and also quite far soak away. up damage which is what we want they do soak up damage but if they die here we don't get them in the next mission we need the guy with the range to be at back maybe and we want to get this this is the thing what is that thing oh there's, there's two consoles scan or destroy right here and here and what's our mission? I guess to kill everyone. Places burners to purify the tube and scan or destroy. Okay, so we can kind of ignore this bit and just focus up here. Now let's go north then. You want to bring everyone around north? Yeah, and I think I'll save our punch bots for um for when we're getting close. Who's got the armor? Let's just go. We can go. We'll have a slow start. Okay, because they, they're going to run at us with those flayed ones, right? Exactly. So we could literally just sprint. Sprint up here. Whee! Grab a cog, and then spend a cog to run. So he's got to just run around the back, which is mental. Shots, is no. I think they're all going to go this way. That's my plan. Um... You can use his, uh, I could use a server spell. I actually deal the damage as well. And it sure. reveals an enemy's stats. Maybe yeah, let's hit this immortal. How much armor that has. Yeah, he's got three, ah, energy. three physical, physical armor. armor. So no point in shooting him with physical attacks. Okay, that's well, we don't have it. For this. Really? Are all our guns energy? Almost certainly, yeah. Can he get shot off at anyone, first of all? What's his range? No, not from here. Can he move like anywhere? Because if he mouse. Like, 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 if you mouse, if you walk upwards a bit. Oh, then it will show, yeah. You know what I mean? You shoot get there. In there. I feel like that's what you want to do. Yeah, start we want to trigger his this ability. gun up. No, you should use his ability to get it cheaper. Oh, and then get the cooldown off the back quickly. Yeah, so yes. we need to get, we need okay. to start triggering our stuff. You're right. Cooling off and getting the machine spirit up on this way. You're right. I'd forgotten how to play this game. Um, okay, Volkite Blaster. Good. Okay, so that. Is good. That only used one cognition. Mm -hmm. They got this because when this gets to three bars, it gets a free shot. Yeah. And then I guess we'll spend a cog to like run up. What are his other abilities? Um, he can spend two to get a canticle. Maybe we should do that and do the whole. Um, 
get get six canticle get six cogs we can, I mean, we can only hold four yeah but we can use it for the energy weapon one see what i mean we can use that to trigger the next energy attack oh that's true that maybe we should have done that before that's right or should we max the machine spirit on all weapons uh we could save that but uh, using the canticle with this doesn't use it up I mean, normally, canticles are one use. Yeah. This lets do it not for one use. That's true. Where, where's um? Oh my god! You can just keep using a canticle for free every three turns. Well, that's not two cogs, but yeah, that's really strong. Really strong. Has the other guy got an energy weapon that he can shoot? I don't know. Oh, it doesn't matter because we can't do it in like this. Can't do it right now, anyway. Okay, I think blast off that fucking canticle, max machine spirit. Why not? Why not? And that way. His other weapon okay. is now free, send his... free to shoot. Oh yeah, now we can fire this guy, but he's not in range for that. Um, we'll send the skull off to go... Um, does it only get one? Yeah. Or we'll just go suck up this. Okay. Um, and then run. Stay in some cover. Okay. Um. He's gonna march up. And these guys are gonna start coming around. So there's three flayed ones. These flayed yeah. ones are a bit spooky. Well, I think that's why I'm going north. So it takes these guys a really long time to even get this back. Great strats. Deep strats. Deepest. The deepest, dankest strats. Um, I'm gonna use this to go get another cog. Num num num. Is it possible to get in range with this guy? No. He's got really short range pistols. Okay. Um, let's go over here. Yeah, sure. Then we use up all the cogs, therefore yeah. we get one. We get a free cog for going to zero at the end of the turn. Okay, that's that feels like an efficient turn. Yeah, because if, if everyone had a rank of that plus one cog thing, which felt like it might be the case later, you just start the round on the four cogs every turn. Yeah, like it feels kind of bullshit, doesn't it? Right, and that one's getting up faster. But we've used a lot of cooldowns, so this turn's not going to be amazing because all our servo skulls are like do we want to wait for them to have goes now that we're in cover uh yes just yeah. wait for them to see what they delay so what is what defines the turn order do we know uh i think everyone has like an initiative and then there's a random number like added to your initiative right so he only gets the one call on start his turn uh, it's kind of can we go offline because like i keep getting dings Oh, yeah. what everyone's up. sorry. That's all right. I hate those notifications. I try and turn them off, but they just constantly turn back on. It's this guy's going to have to delay because he's stuck behind. It's worth remembering that, I think. It's going to be rough when we go down. Well, once we've got this one, we have to go down south. It's going to be a lot of flavor. I think he might have to go. He's going to have to go just so he doesn't like block up. What's his gun do? Um, he's got the arc scourge is a melee weapon. And the Phosphora Blast Pistol is just like a little pistol. The Arts Gauge is a melee weapon, is it? Single target melee attack. On hitting target, it turns into a cone area attack. So what he could do is like run over here and then like arc spam these boys from like here? Hmm. Do you think? He might have to move too much, too far, too far for, it to, for it to be something. Oh, that might work. Yeah, let's try that. Arg. Arc scourge. Yeah, that looks pretty good, actually. That's going to hit all three, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Arc scourge ready. <laughs> okay. And then we, we haven't scanned these boys. We don't know how much damage it's done. Well, we can shoot one of them with the pistola. Ah, that will scan them, actually. Or we could use it to finish off the, the that fella. Ah, uh, yeah. What else has he got? He's got a force field and a healing core. Thing is, we can walk up and get the axe ready, so that if can't we've got any. I thought we had one move left. No. Oh. Okay. When's this boy go? Oh, he's literally next. Okay. Well, I better finish him off because he's about to take his way. Shame I miss out on a scan, but I'd rather not get shot by that guy. Oh, and there's a crit, so he can't get back up again. And we got a cognition. Perfect. Then we can shield ourselves. Yeah, we can drop a shield. Um. I think that's probably worth doing. Who's right? actually up next? Because this guy gets it's that guy, then it's that guy. This guy has buffed shield. 
So him using the shield feels good because he gets yeah. his bonus damage and cool stuff cheaper, right? Bubble up. Alright, who's up next? It's his boy. It's your boy. Uh, that guy. Caro Erakai. Meat, meat Rocket? Oh, yeah. We looked up what the Latin <laughs> Okay, he gets to do scan pistols at each roll. He kills one. Well, that was Pretty easy. tasty. Even though he had energy. Yeah, even though he had energy shield. He must have rolled a crit. No, it's because it's overcharged pistols do five to six damage. Oh, yeah, because of the maxed out machine spirit. Um, I could finish off that boy to get a cog, but I think I'm actually going to scan this guy. He's dead too. Man, that arc scourge weakening them all. It's strong. We didn't know how much damage it did to those. It could have been like 1, 2, 11 or something. Yeah. So I think that arc scourge is something I actually got from the. You bought something in Games Workshop and I gave you a code, didn't they? Yeah, and it had that weapon in it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's melee, so it's not ideal, but actually. Don't, 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 maybe don't waste health. Probably. Well, I could scan that thing. Yeah, but you know what that does sometimes. It usually reduces wake up level, doesn't it? I think we have to scan it anyway. I just don't particularly want to fucking spawn another immortal in our face yeah. and use our last cog to do it. Oh, this guy's out. I don't really want to spend. I think you do. The maxed out gun on finishing that guy off. No, but can you get it to rage to shoot someone else? Yeah, look. If I run. So what? We'll run him up. Yeah. Now we won't be able to deploy any punch pots. I think that's okay. Um, he's got an arc scourge too. Have we given everyone arc scourges? Well, I think we had. We obviously had enough points before. We don't have enough cogs to fire the Volkite faster. Oh, it still requires one, even though yeah. it's... Yeah. Yeah, oh. reduced... Yeah, and that's instead changed it. Ah, well. Oh, no, he's the guy with the fucking buffed thing. With the buffed ring. We need to take the ring off the other guy. Oh. It's not even that much better. It's just... Oh, it is once... Reduces cooldown by one. And, and plus, plus two defense. Yield defense. But that doesn't seem to say it, though. Because, look, it's like... Oh, maybe... I don't know. It says five on it though, and the other guy said five too. Do this? No, don't bother. It's like a fucking awesome melee weapon that's ready to go. Yeah. When they run up to us with the three flame bots, we can just lightning bolt them all in the face. Here we go. Okay, there you go. Look, another warrior, another immortal. This guy's just gonna shoot straight away. Yeah, can't do anything about that. Oh no, he's not. Oh, he's out of range. That's cool. Uh, right, I want to go beep boop. I think. Let's get our scan on. Run to here. Uh, scan that. Okay, good. Cash we money. Need that. And then finish that guy off. We can wake up. Okay. Someone needs to do the finishing. Might as well be the pistols. Right, this guy's not actually in range. Is he? Yeah. Oh, he is in range. Scan that boy. Okay. He's got nine life. Um, and then we can send a skull off. Grab a, grab a cog. We don't need cogs right now. Next guy's going to generate a cog if we use a cog. Yeah, I don't know how to use a cog efficiently. Right it's now. a free cog. So we can use um, floodlight. It's basically a free cog, right? Yeah, that's true. Okay. We'll use the floodlight to hopefully make him taunt. Although there's nothing that can shoot him this turn. But that gives us the free cog from him because we didn't have any cogs left. Wow, that ability is so much not so much less Worse. useful, isn't it? Um maybe we should wait with you guys, let them come to us. You can yeah. See what they do. Oh that guy's going a long way around. I guess because we they blocked off the um Oh shit, he was close I didn't think he was in range this turn. He might attack. I asked him a question. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to give him another axing, I think. Go for it. Well, wow, that will kill him. Cool. I haven't got anything else to do. Let's do it. Chomp. That is a dead flayed one. This is working just fine. Yeah. Pistolin? Or Which one's he got? Oh, he's got the troop buff. He hasn't got a pistol. Oh, he has got a pistol. Cool. Finish him. 
the Necrons regenerate if you don't finish them. So previously, I think what we did was we said for easy missions, we're only allowed to bring one guy, one guy, Medium normal two. to hard three guys. Yeah, so we did break our rule. Like rule. But we, I think we didn't know how much harder it was going to get with the... Um, and we still don't, honestly. Like This is the first mission of two. It could have gone very differently, but actually it feels like it's going okay. He can arc scourge him, maybe? Uh, no, he's already fired his arc scourge. Oh, yeah. So we can just go grab a cog, I suppose. He's just running in. Yeah, we're amazing, because there's going to be another guy spawning out of this room here. And this guy's got an axe, so he can just hang around and be an axe, axe boy. Yeah, what are his abilities? He can put shields on a guy. Um, either plus two damage for all troops or plus two armor for all troops. Although we haven't got any troops. All troops. We haven't got any troops, so this doesn't work at all. All his abilities are for the troops. We haven't he is a very much a troop focused boy. Yeah. Okay, that's no idea. That's alright. We've got some. we got some healing things. Is that another immortal at the back? Yeah. Oh wow, they got some range on him. Wow. Rolled real low on his damage. Uh, okay, this guy's ready to go with all his all his hot stuff. Yeah, you don't want to accidentally kill our own dude. No. Can the lightning scourge like kill our own guy? Oh yeah. Okay. Well, that's not good. That guy's got nine health. I'm not too worried about the warrior because he's got to back off and get axed. I'm more worried about the flayed one, I think. When does it go? Oh, is this guy the last guy? This is it before the end of the round, yeah. Did we wait with him? Must have done. Uh, let's give him the mega cannon. That killed him. His flavor was that much life today. Yeah. Um, that's yeah, I want to get a cop because I do want to deploy a punch bot now. All right. Okay. The cognition points come back. We can deploy a punch bot. Like right here. We're gonna deploy it so he has to run away from it. Yeah. Then I think the immortal will shoot it, it as well. It can go first. Oh wow, it's going first. Punch bot, punch! Beep boop! It does a random amount of physical damage, but we don't know how much. They, we oh, upgraded shit. them. They, um... The Necrons get opportunity attacks now. Oh, wow. They didn't used to. Oh, yeah, we upgraded him. He's tougher now. Ah. He can also... Oh, he can he can taunt them. I think he should probably do that. Yeah. Beep boop, he says. Come get me, bitches. He's done. So he's trying to back off. Yeah. Shoot us. And he's going to shoot us. We have some energy on. He can handle one more shot. We'll try and get him healed up before we finish this mission. Yeah. So he could shoot the console. Remember? Cause the oh, yeah. Console. It reduces wake up. Yeah. It's like an additional thing. So range on the heal on face to face. Yeah. We would like to kill that flayed one, though. For, um, well, both of these guns, actually. Maybe we just... Maybe we... Because these are machine spirit shots. Yeah, we should. Um, we can kill that console at any time. Let's finish these boys off. Well, no, but I mean, these are like five to six damage shots. You didn't finish the guard. You could have killed that guy with like a, any chump. I know, but he's already been. Uh, uh, do I spend two cogs to go heal him? That's quite inefficient. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm going to run over there, I'm going to heal him, and then I'm going to run off. All right. Okay. Interface. Oh my god. Healing prod. Two whole heals. Well, that was unlucky. Oh, we used up all of the things. Yeah, that works. So he can fire the arc scourge if he wants, or he can run up and run up to the. He went to here to get a clog. A clog. <laughs> clog. We might be able to go and kill that Necron immortal. Oh, it's down. Okay. It's going pretty smooth. We've not got line of sight on them. We could scan this and just end the mission. So we could move. 
Yeah, we could just we could shoot that. Remember, kill the immortal. We could, well, fuck it, just scan yeah, the immortal. See what happens. I think that will end the mission. We'll try it. No. Oh, it coming. will just spawn shit loads five, five blade ones and now kill all enemies as the mission. Amazing. Wow, that was. Okay, we can we can blast those three guys with the ranged attack. So if we run up to them. Oh yeah, with the arc scourge. Yeah, so run up. Amazing. You need to run up to them a bit closer. Yeah. yeah. Can you see the immortal from where you are, by the way? From it, just scroll down. Just mouse down. Like, is there anywhere you can move nearby that sees that immortal? Apparently not. Okay, so he's out of line of sight. Yeah. Well, that's fine. I'd rather point. deal with these boys first, anyway. I just wondered because. Yeah. Um. The arc scourge only gets two of them. I have to get closer. We can walk forward again. Yeah, I'm just trying to work out what the best space to be in. Oh, I'll cost a conk. Still only gets two of them. No deal. Oh, it crits one, though. Killed that one. Right. Um, who goes next? That guy. Then my guy. And that boy. And these guys come in. Oh, that one. Okay. So we don't get a go. Well, this guy could probably finish something off. So. I think we need to summon the other punch bot. We probably need to protect this guy. So might as well go for that. And then what for his other abilities? Use the free canticle, which we probably should have done. Maybe. Nah, we'll be all right. We'll save it for emergencies. I feel like this is not not the emergency. Um, can we ax that guy? I've only got one half left. Yeah, we need to axe him. Yeah. Or pistol him. Okay, there you go. I'll save the pistol for the played ones. Because I don't think I can make it with the over. Okay, he's dead. And we run back over here. Pistol. Did that guy is that guy dead? No. Just kind of crouched over, pretending he's playing dead. He's a sly dog. He ducked and the guy behind him got to the brunt of that. <laughs> yeah. Um, arc scourge. <laughs> Jesus, we got... Okay, this is going fine. Um, he can heal himself. Probably worth it. Because we have to pay for injuries at the end of the game. And then stick him in the heal bubble. The holy... Yeah, it'll cost us a cog to get in there. Oh, really? Don't, don't do it then. But we could start the round next to a, a cog machine. Which is kind of handy. I have got it this time. I suppose that does hide it from the immortal. These guys aren't going to make it into combat, are they? Mm, they might get in, but they won't be able to swing. That's the only guy he can shoot. Ooh, Ooh it was an AOE. They've got their movement reduced. That could be annoying. He's going to go for us. Are oh, they going for the wounded guy? Oh, but the refractor field's taking it. Yeah. Okay. I think this is going pretty smoothly. Wow. They don't hit as hard as they used to, these flayed ones. Okay, so we do need to punch bot the... Bring in a new punch bot over here. Oh, no, maybe not. Or one to go charge the, yeah, one the immortal. Yeah, and also or maybe to block that other flayed one that's coming around the back. I'll bring him in over here. We need to punch that dead... That Im that, that Warrior dead. Yeah, before he gets up. Coming back. And then to deal with a whole another warrior feels like a ball lake. Yeah. He, and then he can just wander over here. Block the, the, the stairs, if anything. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There we go. Punch block. Punch bot will block. He needs to be shot. Yeah, we'll have a spare pistol shot soon, I'm sure. Ah, perfect. He can interfere with. He can this just get in the way of that immortal. Beep, boop. Fuck you. He may as well do a taunt as well. Okay. So the auto's got to back off, take another opportunity attack. Yeah, not kill the die. And every time the punch bot gets shot, we generate a cog. Which is pretty sweet. How do we manage to get to this thing? We have to go all the long way around. So he's locked in melee. He doesn't have a melee weapon. Guy. Shit. Maybe we just he, wait with him? He's got the dink skull. Oh, yeah, let's wait. Maybe we should just give everyone an axe. 
for emergencies. Well, we could probably blow away all three of these flayed ones if we go to the right square. Oh, with the with the arc. Yeah. So like maybe behind them. Should we use the thing next? Try to reduce by two. Yeah, definitely. And then maybe like somewhere that hits all three, without hitting our own guys. Well, we don't know if it does hit our own guys. But what, for example, what about up there? Yeah. Right. A couple more tiles upwards. Even further. Like here. Oh. No. Okay. Like. We can move one square at a time and just keep adjusting. Perfect. Oh, literally perfect! <laughs> Look at that. Suck it, dickheads! Boom! Wow, that was <laughs> unbelievably <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> so good. A frontal cone, just like the perfect. And he can chop that other guy down. Yeah, he wow. can finish this boy off. Has he got the. Uh, has he got plus one armor? Oh, let's just chop this guy up before he, before he gets up. back up. God, he was going to get up. And then. Stand over here, just to give him more axes. Oh, fuck. We need to find a way to kill that flayed. Oh, we can just back off, I guess. That, that one's going next, then that one. This one's actually going last. But we do need to find a way to kill it. Yeah. We could. Um, well, I'm going to go stand next to it. We could use Canticle to get maximum buffages. So, what's that prayer? Go to the prayer. Um, extra damage or armor to all so our if tech you, If you put, like, one of those doesn't matter because it's cooldowns, right? So just just hit that, and then I don't think we need this. I think it's helpful. No, but I'm trying to kill. I uh, basically I'm thinking if we use that, then we give to get ourselves four. We but can this give ourselves is... to give ourselves four things, you know. Oh, I see. And then we blow that flayed one out of the water. Then this guy can have a go. Let me just scan him and see how bad he is. How bad he is? Four. Yeah. It's not bad. I think we can take him. Maybe we just saved it then. Because we'll get a load of cogs now when the... Um, every punch time he hits a punch bot. Oh, he's ignoring them. Okay. Um, oh, why is it this guy now? We oh, need, yeah. We need to finish him off. Okay, I'm completely confused about the order. Bam. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're destroying this. I this, know. This is ridiculous. Well, this isn't the... This is like the warm-up mission before the... Um, the end of this tomb. That's true. This is not the. Uh, it's not the hard one. We want to take the hard one. And let's give him a buff. Oh, I forgot that you could do that. I wish he'd activated first. But this, oh, that was a bit annoying. Okay, done so. Punch bot, go. So he's gonna back off, and then. Oh, he's hiding. Oh, he has to. He has to attack this guy. Yeah, because he had the taunt on. Yeah. Give me them cogs. Num, 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 num. Oh, and he's got his movement super reduced from that immortal shot. Okay. He can still shoot the um, blade one from there. Yeah, there's a guy up there that needs to go down too. Oh. So we're going to have oh, to gunsling wow. it. Let's finish him. I, I think having these gunsling is actually pretty, pretty flexible. Just guns you can always shoot to plink off people. Yeah. It's really handy. I think maybe it is overkill to have, like, Two, three cog weapons on the tech auxilium, even though he's at very. He's, I mean, having the, the choice of the long range one or the short range AOE is not bad. I mean, you're losing that plinky plink damage, but you're gaining such flexibility. Like, if you can just, like, just being able to move to the place there and just blow those flayed ones away, mm. like, all those flayed ones coming in, that was just so fucking devastating. That was amazing. He did it twice as well, didn't he? He did it once they crawled up and then he turned around and did it. In the middle. We don't need the, this guy deployed, really, do we? Oh, we could deploy him and heal him, though. That would be good. Yeah. And um, let's just drop him in here. <laughs> I'm going to min-max this now. We do need to blow away these two consoles before we kill the the last guy, just FYI. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. But well, we this can, punch bot... can kind of run at him. Can just, like, wander in here. Beep, boop. We just let the punch bots do the work today. I don't want to kill it yet. I'm going to delay him. I want to get all the cogs and do all the healing before. Uh... Oh, is that guy already repaired? Yeah, you want to heal the guy at the back. How did he heal? Oh, maybe he can't be healed beyond. But he was on. Oh, yeah, he so was but... damaged. Oh, he is still damaged. Is maybe we can't use those claws on troops? I'm very confused. We don't understand how the game works. We're getting so many machine spirit charges. I think these pistols literally take one shot and then get fully charged. 
they're so good. I don't know why the other one got nerfed. Because we were really, we were really, we were umming and ahhing over which one to take. Yeah, because we? they were really even. Because the scan pistol the scan is really useful, and they charge up fast, but they do slightly less damage. But we knew that this on this guy specifically, because he has the plus energy damage. Oh yeah. These were just better. Huh. Weird. Maybe having ranged physical damage is important later or something. Question mark. Maybe. So they're both dead. Now we just need to kill this dude. Yeah, we want to get a... Uh, can we heal that guy? Yeah, cool. Even though it showed on the tooltip he was at full health. Yeah, I guess it was just a tooltip error. I'm annoyed that we can't seem to get to this. I want those two, two cogs. I want them bad. We killed that? Yeah, we killed both of those. Okay, he's done then. Um, this was very smooth. Very yeah, smooth. Yeah, it was a nice gentle Starting. warm up. But we haven't. This is a, this isn't the first. This is only the first part of the mission. Yeah. There is another part to this. So. This guy's doing a shitty job of killing. Killing punch bots. <laughs> I think it's more of a debuff gun. Yeah, it feels like it, doesn't it? If he hangs back and just keeps debuffing us, then um, it can be bad. Well, the punch bot's kind of wounded now. Now I see we want to, but that's fine. We can. That's what they're built for. And we leveled them up, and honestly, that was like such a good call. We're well, getting that taunt, real, real nice, I think. Oh, he's got physical armor on him. That's why this isn't really working. Um, this one can get out of the way. Give everyone else line of sight. Yeah. Oh, whoops! I thought he'd already attacked. Maybe not. Confused. I think it was the. Okay, let's just walk in and give him the give him the big gun. Yeah, we're we'll walking in and give him the big gun. Do we? Do cogs carry over? Yeah. So I probably don't want to fire that. Probably just gonna be optimal. I don't want to like use all our cogs up. We can use. Hang on. We can use the canticle on him to to get free extra cog points. Ah, oh, never mind. Right, nice. yeah. We can kill him with this. It's fine. Okay, you're 100 right. Die. Be more efficient. And then since he's the last guy, we don't have to kill him. It should just end. Yeah, that right. should just end the mission now. Yay! No threat remaining. No threats. Okay, that was clean. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. By the way, I haven't read any chat. I've just been obsessed by mechanics. Sorry, we were focused. That we was big focus, focus, wasn't it? Justin says, just wanted to send you a lads an update because mm -hmm. my Jingle Jam on Friday, I plan on sharing Aww. it with my friends as we watch some VODs from the Jingle Jam. That is the perfect use for Jingle Gin. Oh my God. I'm so pleased it arrived, Justin. Oh my God. Bubble Black A says, Yogcha 300. Thank you, Bubble Black A. Still watching. Thank you all the love. And Xander Britton says, greetings, commanders or toaster fuckers. <laughs> That's kind of what we're doing with the glyphs. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm off sick today. That means I get to watch this. Hooray! Hooray! Oh, my gosh. Thanks, Xander of Britain. Thank you very much, dude. Um, this is the one we can't be named. Well, we can be named in this one. I mean, if we unlock um, another tech... Program. But we, we don't have enough spare boys yet. Uh, but we will... These guys are named after... Yeah, the three we've got are named after random donators. People in, in chat. Random people in chat. Uh, can we burn everything? Uh, that's, that's what we're doing here, isn't it? Ooh, we got a new flamer. It costs four cogs to fire. And Sendine. This is. Do you know what this is? This is from the big robot, isn't it's it? The Castellan robot flamer. Yeah. I used this against you in the video that yeah. hasn't gone out yet. We were talking about it. It's perfectly. Um, I know it's not the flamer that Death Watch have that is 12 inch range. It's like the. Or is the it? Tech I don't know what the Death Watch have. I've never read the book. I can't remember. I can't remember what. I can't remember the stats in the Encendine. Encendine Combustor. What an amazing name. Uh, you're up what straight said. away for another Oh, wow, we're straight here. back in. Okay. Um, what's happening today? We've got warriors immediately. Warriors, flayed ones, kill all enemies, necklin okay. Wow, well, it's just a big... There's a death mark here. I remember them being a pain in the balls. Yes, because as soon as you hit them with anything, they teleport away. And so go you, on over. You need to hit them with, like, one big... One big death mega shot. Dan death cannon. The warriors, warriors, mortal, flayed one, warrior. There's panels to shoot, but... 
I mean, we're going to hit four anyway, aren't we? So it doesn't really matter. But it'd be good to get park a guy here and just get three cogs a turn. Oh, yeah. Let's just park a guy there, Ben. What? <laughs> okay, so do you, want, do you want to snuggle all the way around the side of the map? Yeah, should we do the same thing where we just, like, refused flank? You just team team wait all the way to the three team cogs rush. and then just blast them. Yeah, and then just park on the, on the three cog machine. Okay. Yeah, do you want to slam that death mark with a with a super gun? Yeah, who's away? got the super gun? It's this guy. Yeah. Um, you could even Rotary. run up to him and melee super gun him, and then ranged gun him when he's when he runs when he bounces away. Just ah, I see. Yeah. Okay, Toto Peroto, you're up. And we got um. He should super gun. He should melee gun that nearby warrior, then run away. Yeah. And then old he can just go with um could go with the finish other the bodies. Okay, and then should we... I want to get a ranger in because they're fast and we've got loads of cocks. Yeah. And then I'll hold the punch bots back. Okay. Okay, so first of all, we want to do the canticles to max out all our guns. Yeah, let's do machine spirit first of all. Yeah, let's do the canticle of the machine spirit because that gives us immediately a big damage buff. Yeah. Now we can uh, think about turn order here because he can't now get up the stairs. But he can wait. That is true. That does push him to the end of the turn, which is fine. But he's the finisher anyway. He's got the little pop guns. That's true. Right, this guy's got the heavy weapons. So we run up so He's up first. Mark. We run up to him uh, and give him the... The thing is the melee gun is significantly more random than the big gun. But uh, three to six. Three to ten. Okay, let's do it. So we go to here. Yeah, and then we use the cheap thingy, cheap casto. Well, we get free because we got maxed out machine spirit. Okay. There you go. Arc scourge for you. Oh, they just killed him. That's what we wanted. Amazing. Okay, while we're here, we'll just ask him a question. Oh no, the ranger can finish him. Actually. Uh, no, we can ask him a question. Well, the got ranger does it for free. The axe costs a That's cog. true. It's true. You can move up though. And shoot move that. to here. Shoot that immortal. Yeah. Eat. Fucking volkite, bitch. That's a crit. Didn't kill him. Didn't even knock him down, though. Wow. Okay, he's a tough old bird. Um, and then go, 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 go. Shield, maybe? Or are you going to run? I think... Or maybe you can run into cover. I think we want to get up to those three cogs, like ASAP. You got it. We may as well grab a... Grab a cog from somewhere. What does that... Yeah, what does that do? All right. Uh, he's done. Oh, that's going to be the slowdown. Oh, I don't... Yeah, it... Oh, bum. It's the super slowdown. God, that guy must be nearly dead, though, surely. You think? Um, right, so this guy's going to speed boost the ranger. That's four moves to Then he's going to... Melee the boy in front of him. Mm -hmm. He could then walk up Ooh, and ask him a question. What his response would be. Hello, do you like axes? You don't! <laughs> How terrible for you. <laughs> yeah. Then he can shoot, and then the he can shoot that guy. Yeah. Okay, he's only got four health. Okay, that's excellent. Okay, that's a good start. And now, because he's got his movement reduced, I don't really want to spend any cogs to move him faster. So we'll just finish his movement. We can heal. Uh, yeah, that guy's only taken like one damage. Not really feel worth it. Flayed one coming back off that weird fucking altar. Okay, so the ranger's gonna walk up here. Axe this sword, this, Stab this guy. Chop. Definitely didn't want the death mark coming back. And then just like waddle over here. Cool. Alright, we'll take, take a few Necron warrior shots, but we've got energy armor, we should be fine. Yeah, we can do a heal. And uh, time for the gunslinger. Pew Pew McGrew. Ooh. Boom. Has one he got an axe on this guy? Uh, really, I think we should get an axe on like everyone. Oh, but yeah, he does have the pluck, the one damage um, skull, the laser skull. Come on, do the laser skull. There just, we go. Just drills into his head. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I like that. I like the idea that the skull maybe blows the Necron's head off and then like becomes the head of the Necron. That's a good idea. We should we should write to them. <laughs> <laughs> no, we should. we should we should make games worse. Sounds like heresy. Lamo. Okay, that 
Well, heal pretty the, heal nearby. Oh friend. yeah, heal friend. Thinking. Interface. Tech Re priest. Receive my probe. You look like you need a screwdriver to tighten up your nut. Tighten that nut. Oh man, I feel like that was an excellent turn, wasn't it? One shot the death mark. The immortal's still alive and slowed us, which is not ideal. Yeah, part. that did. Well, it's the only downside, really. Actually, you could punch. You just send a punch bot in to deal with that immortal. But you think you'll be able to finish him off on its own? Uh, Want to distract him? You can go in with a taunt. You could put another punch bot down to up the other side as well and lead the way up there. That's true. Worried he might die. That's fine. Then we get loads of lovely CPs. Lovely, delicious mm -hmm. point of. Uh, maybe put him in. Middle. What? Oh, we're here. Oh, just make it harder for him to back off. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Okay. So he can only then back off to those two corner tiles, mm. and he, whichever one he moves to, he'll get taken. He's like trapped tighter. Yeah, that makes sense. And when he backs off, then we just bully him into that. Well, I think corner. he ha can't back directly off diagonally. I think he has to go past two. Corners. Oh, extra swings. Okay, that's cool. Two, two chances to get opportunized. Oh no, this punch bot's one square out. We could just leave him, he'll get eaten by a favor on there. Yeah, I don't really want him to die. Well, he won't die if you do that, actually, probably. Might as well waddle him up a bit. Waddle him up to here. That didn't actually work because he went in range. Oh, was there a range on the top? Yeah. Oh, well, I gave him the armor anyway. Um, are we back up to speed again now? Yeah. Pistols ahoy. This immortal's taking a bit of a beater. I'm surprised he's still going. I think it's, it's the two energy armor makes a big difference because it just stops. Because we crit him with that um, damage coming That bulk in. Maybe it's worth like deploying a tech priest over there. Oh, fuck me, he's still alive. That's a bit annoying. Well, but if he tries to move at all, the um, dude will kill him. So Yeah, he's dead now. Punchbot's got him locked down. There's the free. 3.0. Um, should we, should go and should we go the, that Should we give him the old um, free shot? Yeah. Okay. Free shot, civil play. Well, not free. Reduced by two. You get so many options. Yeah. It's nuts, isn't it? He's down. Excellent. <sighs> that Volcat Blaster is really solid. Uh, right, well, we're out of cog, so. We can. can Punch bot. Punch bot is best. Bot. Canticle. Should we just try? Should we try a mission where we just take the leader priest and just five punch bots, or like a Skatari and some punch bots or something? That sounds insane. The one priest run. Yeah. And just I see if we can do that on like an easy one, definitely. See if the punch bots can hack it. If we need to do, if we think we need to do one of the easy missions to get one of those specific rewards mm. that buffs one of our guys significantly. Then we can just take I like the idea of only having one guy is any good and everyone else is just like a chump. Troop, troop boys. Um, I think maybe I'm just, I'm going against the strat here, but I think we can just get this guy with an axe now. But we can go right here. Oh, he's going to swing on us. Hang on. Go here. Then here. Axe him. Oh, not enough cogs to axe. No, canticle. Just canticle to full. Oh, yeah. We haven't used those canticles. Ask him a question and heal yourself up. And then if he tries to get away, which he will, we'll ask him again. Yeah. Should turn my back on him while I <laughs> bondle with my <laughs> mechadendrite. Don't look! Don't look! <laughs> I am interfacing it's with my myself! I'm a screwdriver! <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> He's shy! Leave him alone! It's hard wearing all those robes. Oh, yeah, this guy's immune to opportunity attack. That's kind of cool. The old sword boy. Sword damage. Sword damage. We'll take it. Stab. This was pretty devastating, honestly, for them. They had a bad time. Okay, punch pot finishes off immortal. Job done. The machine spirit. On the swing, I mean, Punchbox lived long enough to pull off a, <laughs> pull off a machine, machine spirit. spirit. So there's no ammo in this game, right? So weapons yeah. don't run out of ammo. But what happens is the more you use them, they build up this red they bar. build up the red bar, spirit. yeah. And actually, them. it's supposed to 
it, originally it was planned as like a detriment in this game. So originally when they were building it, they were like, okay, once you hit the machines for it, stuff's going to go wrong. Yeah. But they found it was much more fun that you get a buff every they made three, it go two or three. Shots. Some of the some of the guns, some of the guns do have a penalty if you find too much, but some of them, most of them, have um, some sort of bonus instead when you reach when you anger the machine spirit. Do we really have to do with this guy? Because everyone's blo oh, which is good game design. Actually, it's fun game you design because obviously buffs are more fun than penalties. Yeah, and all you could do is you can take down the strength of everything else. Yeah, exactly. You just you just debuff everything, and then the player doesn't feel the difference. Yeah, and they don't feel like they're being punished. They feel like they're being rewarded instead, but the effect is the same. Yeah, it's, it's I good like game that. design. That is good game design. Um, let's go get some free money. Fucking Blackstone. All right. Um, let's um, can axe this guy. Oh, we used the axe. Yeah, we did. Whoops. Um, we can still. Oh, we can fire. Oh, hold on. Can I get up to the? Um... Yes. Yeah, okay. So let's fire the. Is there someone I can fire the? Yeah, that guy. That guy, amazing. So you can burn all of our cogs on the super shot. Make that guy fall over. And then just run up here and get three more cogs. <laughs> Lol. And then we can scan. Yeah, get more money. Oh, we're on a roll. We're on a freaking roll. And then we can shoot it with the thingy. Well, I want to scan the other one first. Can we? Well, it might not destroy both of them. Can we check? check? It might not. Yeah. It'll hit both. But they have, Oh, no, but that. it cannot kill that one. Unless it crits. Unless it crits. Okay, I'm just going to go. I'm going to play it safe. Run over here. Scan the other boy. Scan this one. Blow all the control panels, so the Necrons are going to be like, what the fuck? Um, oh shit, now we don't... No, okay, so I'll send the skull off to go find a cog. <laughs> go suck off that column. Uh, These blade ones are pussies, aren't they? They are so weak. Flammo. And then he'll just stay here, and then at the start of the turn, this will get three cogs and they'll just go straight in his mouth. Ah, uh, uh, he'll stand there at the bottom of the chute, just going, ah. So that. Oh, he tried to walk away and got axed. Amazing. I think having an extra cognition gauge will be incredibly powerful. Oh, we didn't get to push all the other buttons because we killed everyone. <laughs> but we didn't. There was still a flayed one, wasn't there? We didn't. Oh, we, we sniped him. With the we sniped him with the Volkite. We missed a bunch of Blackstone. Oopsie. Whoops. We were too good. Okay, the junction um, is one of the selected places for the incense burner. An unexpectedly strong air current is passing through, and it will disrupt and disperse the incense. Um, what do we do? Make it a thicker, thicker chemical. Find a new place, or search for the current air source. Um, I reckon if we scare, if we check, it might just be a fan that we can blow up. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. It was. Yeah. They seal up the crack and deploy the incense burner. This place has been cleansed. And we didn't even get four. Look, we reduced it to three in the end. Oh, yeah. So that's like a big... That's one for that. Oh, hello. Oh, what happened? Oh, you accidentally broke the um, Don't know. head off. I've got a radar now. Beep, 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 so what that did was, so rather than going to 32%, now it only takes us to 31%, I think? I guess, although it might it might just decide, oh, you did go up to four at some point, so... Oh, I think you're right. I think it does do that. It, it goes to whatever your highest rating was. So, so you need to destroy those consoles is. before you tip over the edge. Yeah. Wow, it's going through all this. So we got wow. the cognition mechanism, right? So okay. we got We've got an extra deployment slot. Deployment. Oh, no, it didn't. It stayed on three. Oh, my God. They've changed it. they changed that. That's cool. Um, we spent a bit of money on repairs, but not the end of the world. No. Oh, we killed a lot of Necrons. New Canticle unlocked. Sure. The next attack will break four physical armor. The next six attacks with normal armor. Sure. It's a lot of attacks, isn't it? I feel like you could, you could remove Canticles from the game. And it'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, maybe we should ban for canticles. Like they feel very strong, and it feels like you could still complete the game without ever using a canticle. Yeah. What have we got now? Power axe. Oh, isn't that the same as like what we're using? I guess it's a better axe. Yeah, it does more damage. Hmm. That's 
It's like a 74 Omni Specs me. Okay, it's like a one, you know, miss, oh, miss your next shot jobby. Boring. Um, oh, new boy. So this guy does give us Vanguard Alphas and a Cobblish God, those Maxing. Are the rewards in line with the difficulty? Because. Oh, but this is an easy one, right? So, so we have playing to by the Lewis and Ben who's rules. The troop boy, which one's the troop? troop? Um, he's the Secutai. He's the first one. But we might want to change his loadout if we're going to just take him. Sure. Uh, Santia. He's got an axe. Okay. He's got good. an art scourge. He's got a pistol. Oh, okay. That's what pretty more balanced. Does he actually. Need? Let's upgrade him. Let's ding him. Oh, you're right. What do you want him to be? Let's max max out his secutors. He doesn't have. We don't know what cognitive canister is. Don't know. Let's just spend all our money making him like king of the secutors. He gets the pants. Gets, gets the pants. Perfect. Boss pants. He's the boss. And um, he pulls, he's calling the troops unit instantly anywhere on the map. That's what we want. That's what boss boss pants do. Uh, would you like to put the pants on? <laughs> of course. You can't be the boss without the boss pants. All right. Um, chest? What does this chest piece do? Uh, four hit points. It's kind of cool. There we go. First what else, we what else does he want? I mean, so he's got he's got the force field, which is pretty good. Oh yeah, the new flamer. What does that do? Four, four cogs worth of energy it needs. Which Must be a big AOE. No, I don't think. Oh, it and is. they burn. They dots them. All right. That's pretty good. Is it? I like dots. Because if they die, is the corpse dotted? I don't know. Because that could save a lot of time, couldn't it? What are we using again? Macros, Phosphor Blast Pistol. That's the one that scans them and does a little tickle. I mean, I feel like we are going to need some scans in this, you know. We've got one spare uh, point. Cog. More me Mechadendra? Do you want to whack him with a... Which one's that? That's the Healy Whack Punch thing. Healy Whack Punch? Yeah, what so this thing like heals them for two when you whack him in melee. It's free. What? It's a free melee. So I hit them with my axe and I get healed. No, it's like a, it's like a, it's not, it's not like an axe. It's like um, a, a mace. They <laughs> heal. It heals the person who gets whacked with the mace. Oh, I see. It's a, it's a, it's an interface. It's a plug-in. It's like plug an R2D2. Right. Thing. We've already got one of those on him though, haven't we? Yeah, so. but that one costs a cock. Uh. It's not very good, is it? it heals two to four. It's got a quick cooldown. We've got lots of different Macadendrites. Maybe we could put one of the other ones on. What else have we got? Oh, yeah, we got the gain of cognition point. On. Maybe that's better. Okay. I quite like the refractor field for all the punch bots to get shielded. No, this, I think it's five. We'll build five damage to allies in range. I think that's good. I think it's five shared, though. Yeah. Noise reductor. Reveal all enemy statistics in a circle area. Oh, it's a circle scan. I think we should try that out. Okay. Let's take one of these off. Take these off. We, I guess we're not going to be healing our dudes particularly, are we? But I feel like he should be able to heal himself. Yeah. And maybe he can heal himself with this. And then we'll circle scan with this. Oh, it costs two two upgrades on the circle scanner. Ooh. That's that's too much. We take his pants off. <laughs> no, don't take his pants off. He needs them. So He's the boss. That costs two as well. That's the circle scanner. Oh, right. Is there, what's that other one that looks the same? Up, up. This is the uh, Omni Specs. Nah, yeah, we don't want that. But it gets buffed if we do that mission, you see. It's this one. That's a smaller noise reductor. Oh. It's the same, but it only costs one upgrade? Oh, but it's got a longer cooldown. Right. Three instead of cooldown, too. But I feel like one, one spanner is better. Then we can put a Put another Pre probe on. Oh, he's got so many things on him now. Pre probe. We can also get him more. We can just upgrade here. him again. That's true. Um, I don't know what any of these things do, really. I mean, this is such a powerful ability for anyone, really. I feel like you yeah. shouldn't be able to like go into other people's lives. You shouldn't be able to multi- Also, it should get way more expensive spend. to go finish off the same line. You know, he should yeah. have like high-end stuff that's super expensive. Maybe... Or maybe I'm I know not what you mean. mean. Maybe this too, uh, but this is a tactics thing. I like f I like how we're suggesting things to do to the game, but we're like take these things out, make it harder. See the right guy? Yeah, Secutor. 
percent. Oh, okay, Byzantius. Cool. Twenty-one health now with all of his clothes on. Can we have the guy with the sword as well? Yes. Sword boy. Should we have two sword boys? We know we haven't got like any regular Skatari yet with guns. Yeah, we haven't unlocked them. Yeah, you just kind of have to pick the right missions, I suppose. Maybe we had the option earlier. I can't remember. All right, here we are. There's uh, troops here. We need to do something. What are we trying to do here? Save the Oculus topiographs. Cleanse! Cleanse! Cleanse the squads! So we're basically here then, because we want three com extra command points. We, we want to avoid all Necrons. Avoid the Necrons. Get Stick our, stick our, stick our things, things in ports. All right. Uh, there is a Voxcast unit broadcasting streams of code. Let's destroy it. Oh, we did. It gave oh. us an STC fragment. Curio Mechadendra has been upgraded. Oh, it's an alternative version, I guess. Oh, it's a, yeah. It takes two spaces, but it heals twice as much now. Increase the Necron initiative. Mm. That means they're more likely to go first each turn. Okay, so are they all bad now, by the way, these glyphs? I don't know. We That's haven't done this one. That today. one, yeah. So I call this the side table. Okay. It's like a little, it's got three little. Uh, the other one looks like a toilet to me. A toilet. Side table or toilet? I think side table. Side table. Ooh, it's cocks. It's free cocks. Sweet. Because they come on the, because they're on the side table. At least run virus scan. <laughs> I agree, chat. Zavith uh, says, oh, oh, what's this? Are you going to insert your floppy disk? Yeah. It's a bit Heresy. high tech. A bit high tech for the Adeptus Mechanicus. Uh, avoid. Avoid a chamber ahead. Mm, it took more, us a long time to avoid wakey it, wakey but wakey's. we avoided getting anything happening. Okay, so it's just Byzantius and his punch bots going into battle. Do you fancy? Do you think the one man, the one man squad can do it? Of course. You kidding me? Scan or destroy. Oh, there's a fucking snack. Oh yeah, snack bot. I think you find it's called Snackbot. Okay, my bad. <laughs> oh no, this is um, this lift goes over here. Oh, we could rush it. Get on the lift. Get on the lift. Bypass all of this. Then just go fight Snackbot. Yeah. Start back. Oh, I should have deployed a um. El Champo. El Champo. Like the, I don't deploy the punch bots normally because they're so slow, but the vanguard are fast. I should have dropped a vanguard there. Well, what you can do is you can call in a troop anywhere on the map using your ability. Oh uh, yeah. Reinforcement. This one. No. No. That one. Yes. Uh, Ranger. To go kill the snack. Could be next to the immortal, so can you know, trap him in. Yeah, I could literally box him in there. Well, I could stab the snack and then go box in the immortal. Well, the, who's going first? Uh, well, it's my turn. Yeah, but he won't go first, will he? The alpha. The well, no, he might get to go finished. right now, mightn't he? Oh, what? Because you waited. Can I do more than one? No. Fine. Yeah, yeah look, he's going to go next. So then I can give him the, the buff. Immediately. Buff skull. Oh, my God. I forgot about the buff skull. Oh man, the deep strike. Well, you can get on the lift. Can I shoot anyone here before I go? No, not much. Fine. Get on the lift. When does the lift go? I guess at the end of the turn. Probably. So, um... Oh, I can reveal their stats. I can do the, um... Oh, it's, it's quite a small area, isn't it? Hmm. Right, it's a tiny area. Reveal both of those boys, I guess? That might be handy to know for later on. Just because it's a two for one? It is a two for... Ooh. They've got physical armor, Ben. And high health. Okay, they're not going to be good for punch botting. Um, oh, we could do that. So, have they got like limited range on it or something? Can I collect them on? Yeah. It's really short oh. ranged. What's the point of it? I don't know. Do you just have to use it on something? Uh, no healing. I can tell. I can give him a free stab. Why not? Why not? Give him free stab. Isn't that oh, no, it only works around you. All troops in range. Oh. So you have to be there to physically Shit. command them. What's the range on it? Oh, it's like eight hexes. Okay. Fine. Um, 
That's it then. Not we a super effective turn. Canisters. Stab, snack bot. Hopefully that wounded it. And then box in the immortal. Let's put him like here. Oh, I thought I was going to get two swings. Here you come. Plan a bit. Okay, so now. Oh, scarabs are coming. Now the punch bots deploy en masse. Um, beep boop. Beep boop. We'll save a cock. You haven't deployed that alpha. No, because he costs two cogs. You've, you've still got three cogs. Oh. And I'm spending two on punch bots. You, you need these guys. They're like pretty important. All right. The Put punch the alpha bots get you first. back cogs. You, you don't have anything else. There we go. Is it? Your whole army is the troops, and you're not deploying them. Well, I couldn't decide if I wanted two, three punch bots or uh, a, an oh alpha. My God, you could just run bot. a punch bot up and fucking taunt. Oh, yeah. That is so disgusting. Well, this is going to kill this guy, probably, right? Because he's already been stabbed. No, no he's fairly tough, We apparently. don't know how tough he is. Okay. Oh, okay. That doesn't get the flayed one. But get the taunt on. Punch, punch bot. Punch bot likes to punch. More? More stabs on this guy? Why not? These are all like... It's weird how the, the troops have like super high initiative. They almost always get... Wow! Oh. Fucking shot him out of the map with that <laughs> one! <laughs> <laughs> Amazing! Okay, then go over here. You can box him in the other side so then he can't, can't get, shoot. Can't get past him. No, but... If the other guy goes first. No, no, no! Oh my god. Double stab. Do I not get another stab? Punch bot. Punch bot. Taking oh. bot damage. Punch bot enjoys. Don't shame punch bot. Right, you need to go and scan that bad boy. Well, yeah. maybe not right now, but I could literally scan it, it right, right now. It. But maybe actually doing so will spawn more enemies. It maybe that's do. a bad idea. Okay, so first of all, I'll go here and just get a cheeky um, pistol scan off on that flayed one. Show me what you got. Oh, this is so cool. Doing like, mission with troops only. I like it. Because mm. this is within our rules. This is in the rules, yeah. We're going to stick to our, our, our difficulty setting rules. Um, maybe I'll just walk over here then. It's tricky. The one thing is with troops, you get really low on cogs because only priests can pick up cogs. Right. Um. Right, finish him. But, if you say that, all of our little chumpo boys don't the use cogs. But also, they generate them. Only the punch bots do. Yeah, but you ranges could have deployed four more punch bots instead True. of two ranges. Yeah, we could literally just have a wall of punch bots. <laughs> Jeez, that was four damage. Punchbot might die now. No, I don't think he's in range. Oh. He might, yeah, he might die now. Oh, oh no! No, Punchbot defends himself! <laughs> Punchbot is strong! There's the lift. Is that, does that go back and forth every yeah, turn? Yeah, every turn, I think. Okay, more Punchbots. Beep. 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 Jesus. This is really powerful. It's pretty strong, isn't it? This guy's going to have to back off. Um, oh, I guess he can get a free swing on this boy before he goes. Yeah, that's right. I guess you could almost do this anyway with the troop guy. He just has, instead of those three tech priests, he has three troop slots. Yeah, you're just getting bringing in two extra slots. But usually you're spending your cogs on your guns rather than deploying troops, right? Yeah. You can get these guys injured, it's okay. They don't cost you. They don't cost anywhere near as much for getting injured, yeah. I don't think they cost anything. You only have to play the deploy cost. They're limited on movement, I guess, because these guys can't spend cogs for movement buffs. Oh, that's true. They can't. Not that you have that many. Um, no one's in range for taunts. Might as well deploy it anyway, just get the armor. Yeah, take one less damage is fairly big. Uh, okay, this boy's up. So I guess he, he's going to go press the boot on. Yeah, definitely. I mean, doing so is going to probably 
You know, line of sight's actually quite tricky. All these boys actually pretty reduced by We're line just going to swamp those two poor warriors with a million punch bots. So scanning and then destroying this thing will trigger the, trigger the mission? Well, scanning will trigger more enemies. An immortal warrior. That's it. Okay, okay. we've got to kill them all. I may as well bust it while I'm here. Just yeah. Look at that. They're awakening. Let's see if it has anything to say for itself. Uh, yeah, one hit. Nice. Um, and we could send the skull to go get a cog and run myself up a bit more. Or we can buff. Could you, could you try using the cognition stealer on one of your chumpo boys? It's literally got a one range. Can you try to choose it on a random guy? Does it say it does? Collective point. I think it's you, you target on enemies. Because like, you know they give you a cog when you kill them. Yeah. Right. This lets you get that cog out before you kill them. Right. Oh. It feels a bit redundant. It's a cog extractor. Cog extractor. Cog extractor. Yeah. So you can't use it on your own dudes? I don't think so. It. You can try. Yeah. I walk up to here. I want to see. Interface with punch bot. No. no. Okay. So they have no, have they have no openings for it. So it's like a unlock. It's like a key that unlocks a trapped cog. Yeah, but the enemies are fairly easy to kill. It feels a bit, a bit unnecessary. Um, right. I'm going to give. Who hasn't been yet? Well, you, it's already got on the buff onto it. Remember? Yeah, it's already on that guy. But he doesn't need it. He's already going to be able to get in and attack. The four movement is a big part of the buff. If we give it to that guy, he might actually get to swing this turn. We've got no one to shoot the pistol. You need to swamp them. And then use that all the troops attacking range. We've never yeah. really managed to trigger that. It's a we used it once on a boss. We got like three punch bots around him and then just went. They all punched. Yeah. The like thing is, most of these enemies, damage. it's overkill. But the um, against bosses, it's pretty good. And you can wait. Like oh, wow. This alpha's good. Like those dub, like running in, getting a hit. Yeah. Ru him getting opportunity on the way out. I rate the alphas. It's like, if they get a crit, they'll usually kill them as well. They can take a couple of hits. Yeah, I mean, they've not got fantastic armor. Ah, oh, the buff wasn't enough. Wait for punch bot. Oh, they're gonna get punch bot, so just better, aren't they? Flat out. You reckon? They're cheaper. They're slower. Fractionally slower, but now they've got that. Yeah, well, they're Mark Two. I suppose if we got the ranges up to Mark Two, oh, yeah, then they'd be even better. Wouldn't they? Good thinking, then. Bubble Black A says, "Where's the best place to catch up on the XCOM streams?" Um, I, I well, I mean, it should be the Lewis Fed channel. Yeah, we've we've it's been a bit we've been a bit crap at managing it over the last month because everyone As was always. everyone was away for Christmas. But, but also, it's always been managed. Yeah, that's true. You know. But now we're back. And we've talked to people and we've got the ball rolling, so... Maybe someone in chat could think you will devolve the Check the Lewis and Ben channel in the next the couple of days. Channel, Kappa. And everything should be coming out. Maybe. Yeah. But yeah, there should be VODs of stuff. I, I, I want them to try... I want them, I want it to be easier for people to see, like, you know, stuff on the Lewis and Ben channel without all the faff. And yeah, I know what you mean. All the... All the that'd be a faff. But sometimes the VODs are the best place to, to find it on Twitch. It's just not labelled very well. Yeah, and you know, it's like a 12 hour VOD that you could like skip through. But they are all there. Oh, there's scarabs a lot. Oh, wow. More oh, scarabs on the stage. Um, Maybe we should pull back and let these guys come to us. These punch bots are so slow. Well, nah, let's just go for it. Alright. Let's get in there. Uh, first of all, walk up on pistol, then uh, maybe I'll run in after that. Still power. Pew pew. He's dead. And then can get up to here for axe time. Yeah. Why not? Oh, I can use the probe. Probe him up. That'll give me the power I need to use the axe. Oh god, yeah. You didn't have it. Chop. And then um then I can use the scan. The <laughs> reductor. The scan. The scan is, is honestly like something you sometimes need to see. I quite like that scan. Because look, that guy's got three energy armor. Yeah, that's good to know. That's good to know because it means me shooting him with the two to three damage pistol doesn't fucking do anything. Uh, right, then the ranger, I guess, is just going to finish that corpse off. Why is he so slow? He got hit by the immortals. Ooh, slow mo. Oh. 
That might be bad. Yeah, that's going to be a problem, actually. We've lined up perfectly for it. Uh, here we go. the priest. That's all right. Take the flak off my boys. How come he's only got one armor? He's got, like, the full suit on. Wow. Oh, we just got a cock for killing him. Even though we sucked it out of him with our schlurper. Right, maybe they have maybe they have um, cogs when they're alive. Yeah, we could farm them. Well, only one each. Yeah. Well, that makes that thing better than I thought it was. Oof. Who's this boy? Uh, I hung him back because he was on two health. So what? Bring him in. What's the point? Well, the, we're already How got. How is he going to be? We've already got a million guys. It's the end of the mission. There. Is it? Yeah, but like he's never going to get there, is he? Well. Beep, boop, beep, boop. You never know. If he saves the day, this boy will lag him behind. Oh, that slow mo is a real pain in the ass. Uh, damn oh, God. Yeah, these troops are so slow. Yeah, it's the slow mo. It's a real problem. Can we deploy a reinforcement from off the field? If we've got any left, if we deploy them all? Uh, we've deployed them all. Shit. Maybe I should have held one back for the. For the sudden drop. Can drop we get past time. that way? Is this wall actually? Yeah, I think shit. I don't think I can get through it. You could shoot through it. You can't walk through it. That's a problem. Okay. Well, we'll pistol him and then we'll go around. That's very weird. Yeah. Yeah, there's no one else to bring in. Um. I might as well do this. It's a shame it doesn't give them movement, movement speed. Let's shift speed. Speed skull over there. Come on, come on, come on. This is a bit of a faff. It's an annoying little defensive position. Oh, that is so annoying. He's one tile away. <laughs> yeah. Okay, back here then. He's going to block that for, if we're not careful. He won't want to come block it. Come block. Come block. Don't block my comes. Boom, second step. Yeah, that guy's going to die. Yeah. Skatari Alpha down. He thought he could vault that wall. He very much could not. Turns out that is actually not vaultable, bizarrely. <laughs> yeah. But shootable through very easily. It's the perfect position for them, really. Yeah, it's an amazing position for them. Thanks for letting us know what the lift is. <laughs> yeah, critical okay. information there, guys. Good job. Oh, scrabs. There you go. Baxi Boy can deal with the scrabs, maybe. He's going to try. He'll get there eventually. Unless he gets nibbled. Attack me. Please. <laughs> 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 I want to play. Punchbot needs love too. Uh, to wait him. What? Oh, it's a one corridor. <laughs> okay, in we go. We're doing it. Get in between them. That seems like the right play. Stab the immortal with the energy armor. That's a crit. Nice. Okay, we're doing it now, boys. Take that. Doing it now. It's a long way round, isn't it? For poor old... <laughs> yeah, these punch bots are never going to make it. Will punch bots survive? Ah, the armor held. However, he has got acid on him. Yeah, a bit of a worry. Ah, okay. oh, the ranger. One dead immortal. Man, that skull is, is good. The buff skull. Look at these poor, two poor, <laughs> shitty punch pots just <laughs> fucking punching scarabs at the back. Someone's got to do it. It's a little bit like an actual game of Warhammer, though. Sometimes you end up with these weird little scraps. Yeah, like, out on the flanks with, like, the least important people fucking around. Oh, shit, do you get movement deep? You got the movement deep. But it's right, because we've got a million, um... We've got a million cogs. So we can just keep moving in. Um... That doesn't. Oh, it might do with the you know, for a bit. No. Mm. Still, it's going to take. Well, we may as well. What else are we spending these cogs on, right? Yeah. Asking questions. Give me a. Free Give me your fucking you could cogs. Maybe even. Um, nah, it's not worth it. It's just punching. 
It's tough, like, it's tough. Even with, like, the full troop thing, you've not managed to trigger either the troop's ability... No, I've just never or been... Or the command ability. I've never been in a good position for it. I don't think the troops... I mean, the, the, I can understand that the troops thing is good, but I think you have to kind of really think about it and also, like, pull it off. I think if I'd held back some of the punch bots for later deployments, and then basically once I'd got my guy in, then just gone, right, three punch bots right next to you. First thing. I think, yeah, I think what we need to do is we need to swamp, we need to have him on his own, like the troops go on his own off of one side. This is in like bigger fights. And then he just calls down, like, 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 tr like either spawns a couple of it and reinforces. But it's, the problem is, is that the, the troops cost points to both bring in and reinforce. And then again, like, if we could just reinforce a big fucking battle robot. Yeah, if we can get the big robot, that'd be amazing. And did it. Very clean, Ben. Very clean Mechanicus play. Yeah, although every unit's down to one health now. So that got us what we thought we wanted, which was the extra CP slot, right? Or was it an extra troop slot? Uh, I forget. Oh, we're going to be told now anyway. It's surprisingly like... That's, 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 that's like no, 25, yeah, that's weird. Look, 25 minutes. We have to pay to repair the troop that was damaged. But we don't have to pay for the troop that was killed. <laughs> That's really saying something, that is weird, isn't, isn't it? it? So this got, is what we wanted. Yeah, the cogs. So five cogs. We and this is out. a Vanguard Alpha. So this is a guy with a pistol? I think it's a stun rod. Oh. It's like a taser. And we're up to 34%. Complete missions. Taser goad. Okay. Run well, up some cans that we're never going to use. Because they feel super OP. Uh, let's look at that taser boy. The taser goad deals area damage. Okay, so it's an energy melee weapon with an AOE. Single target melee attack when hitting target turns into a cone. So it's like... It's like the arc scourge, but... Worse. Shorter. I think I prefer the ranger. Well, we unlocked him. I think we needed to. It's cool. It's nice I think it was like a key thing. And also getting the fifth tech cognition point is going to be big, I think. Because mm. it's often... I think a lot of them are wasted a lot. A lot of them are wasted. Yeah. All right, we're going to have a cup of tea. And then when we yeah. come back, we're going to try this hard mission to kill Void Admiral Agrilek, um, for which we are allowed to bring all three of our dudes. Oh, chat, chat is what? telling me uh, we got paid money for bringing a boy back alive, not paid money to repair him. Ooh. Apparently, I got, that, I got that wrong. Ooh, that makes sense. That does make more sense. Yes. So, T and then super hard mission, right? Ooh. Oh, a guy with a gun and a new pistol. Phosphor Serpentia and Skitari Vanguard level one. What? Oh, so this is um, proper Vanguard boys. Yeah, guys with guns. With, like not... Tesla rifles or whatever. Yeah. Or what they're called. I don't know. Uh, we'll be back in five after a cup of lovely tea. BRB. Please watch these adverts. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Lewis and Ben. Save the two world. I, we didn't. I didn't agree for one on this. <laughs> the date is M forty one dot zero one two three four five. <laughs> Silver Tenebris, <laughs> a planet on the outer rim of the galaxy, has been sending out signals, and a, 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 a Adeptus Mechanicus force has been dispatched to the to the planet. Upon finding. Filthy Xenos scum infesting the planet. The Adeptus Mechanicus have dispatched their finest tech priests. Auxilium yeah. Toto Peroto, Secutor Pisantius, and Dominus Caro Erukai, along with many punch boys <laughs> can and a we, guy with a taser. Can we give someone the, um, the flamer, the new flamer we got? Uh, all right. I've not finished my story. I've not <laughs> Sorry, finished my I just dramatic, didn't want you to launch the mission my without the flamer. dramatic tomb thingy. Um, purge the tomb. Purge. Purge. Save the punch bots. But I don't know. What's the best? So do you line? think that... Okay, are you happy with this loadout? No, you're not. You want this guy to I, have one more upgrade. I'd like him to have an axe. To be honest. I want everyone to have Let's get him to the max level. Uh, just because I'm going to give him his pants. Give him his big boy pants. And we're giving everyone their pants. <laughs> right. Put your pants on. Put your pants on, Perota, um, Car Cairo. If no melee weapon is equipped, gain plus one damage, plus one physical armor. Plus one. Ooh. So 
So this guy the range plus fifteen critical chance is wow. now a sniper. He's just super energy sniper boy. Wow, I did say give him an axe, but I guess not. So he's now got plus four range on his, but he also has plus four range from this. So he has plus eight range wow. on these things. Okay. So they're normally only range. Should we give him bigger guns than pistols? What, are they, what range are they normally? It doesn't say the range. Annoyingly. Hang on, he's got one. Uh, not him. He's got one. Range eight. So, he should have range 16. Why is he got range 12? Maybe it doesn't update. Maybe that doesn't kick in until like the mission starts. Are these, do these count as melee weapons? No. no. These are, are these melee weapons? Is this melee weapon? That's the melee weapon slot, yeah. All right. Maybe it doesn't kick in until the mission starts. But yeah, so that will be 16 meters range. But it doesn't really matter. Is there like a medium energy weapon that isn't like three cogs? Maybe like a one cog gun or a two cog gun or something. Can he like use the this combustor? Do you know what I mean? And fire it? I don't think it... I think the range increases don't work on like right, those kind of weapons. You're probably right. I would guess. Also, it's not an energy weapon. Um, arc rifle. That's only two cogs. It's got a heavy arc rifle as well. Oh. That's the cone one that chains. Oh. I think pistols at dawn is fine. Like he's got, we got a legit build on this guy. We put his pants on. We got his energy weapons. We got right. lots of stuff. We've got two slots left for like. What does he do? Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe drop that searchlight. I don't think it's particularly good for him. No, because he's standing at the back. So that's the point. He's got this long range. Maybe, maybe a heel. Maybe the heel boy. You know. Yeah. Curio Mechadentra. And then one more thing. Is that two? Is that two, that one? That feels feels bad. Yeah, but it heals twice as much. Oh, I see it is. It heals four instead of two. So, in fact, it is kind of okay. But do we want that? Would you just rather have just two shit ones? Oh, that's more flexible. That's, what, that's what I'm saying. What's the cooldown like? Oh, on the shit ones. Three. Compared to three. Oh, okay. Same. Same. Oh, you may as well have two, then. Unless you you want something else in the slot. Exactly, 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 exactly. <laughs> exactly. See, my brain already went there. You figured it out. I went there and I you figured solved it. it. Can we give him the noise reductor as well? Yeah, let's give him the something noise reductor like because I feel like he's back. He he can he can heal the guys. He can run up to his own friends and punch them to heal them. He can shoot over their shoulders mm -hmm. from range with his things and take out people. He can do stuff and he's got en enhanced enhancers. But we don't have any of those. Energy in hearts. We don't have those, which we could probably do with having. We'll put the noise, the, the long cooldown noise reductor. Okay, that's his. That's it. He's set up. He's now. done. Okay. And then this guy. Proto Proto. He could do with some dings, couldn't he? He's only rank eight. Do you want to change out the art scourge for a, a flamer? That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Because um, I feel like the art scourge, he can reduce the cost on it. He might as well just try out the flamer, see how bad it is. Oh, he needs another slot. Well, he can be dinged because he's only level 8. He can be dinged. Oh, he can ding him. Sorry, of course we can. Uh, see missing. Has he got his big boy pants? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Well, this looks weird. Something's gone wrong. Something, something's gone very wrong. I think this was the guy that was bugged before. Oh, uh, so maybe we've got some... Maybe he's showing his rank wrong. Would you like to... What's his servo skull at the moment? Is it a weak one? I can't remember. It's the plus one physical one. Yeah, so we'll get this one. Oh, steal all the cogs out of one thing. Very cool. You've got new arms, Lieutenant Dan. The cooler skull. Right, let's swap his skull up. Let's swap the skull out. I think it already gets both. Oh, really? Wow. I think okay. it can it can do both, right? That's amazing. Question mark. Smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! The mo <laughs> is this where you get it's Harry where you get all your memes from. <laughs> it's such a Harryism. <laughs> no, I don't mean Tom in saying it. <laughs> I feel like that's where it's all these things come from. Like when we started saying cuck, that was from Harry. Then we started saying like. Smiley face and that area. second one of these that seems too many of those. It's probably too much of that. I mean, we, they already use a flip. What about his big boy pants? He hasn't got his big, boy, not got his big, big boy pants on. <laughs> no, there we go. Get him to put their pants on, Ben. <laughs> I, I just want pantless. You just want pantless men following you about. Well, yeah, what can I say? So we've got Art Scourge on this guy. I still, I still feel like this is fine because he runs in, he wades in, he stabs people and gets their cognition points. Then he 
has, he can chop a Moark Scourge if he needs to. Okay. He's got a pistol for taking out people. So he's in the thick of it. He knows what he's, he's in doing. the trenches. And he's the troops boy anyway. So the idea is that he's down there with the troops. In he the summons trenches. in a troop. Yeah. The troops fight with him. He chops them all to death. Mm -hmm. That's the plan. He's up there up front. He's got a lot of life, Byzantius. Yeah, he's got big he's, health pool. He's the main tank boy. This is our heavy boy. Yeah, and he's got the flamer and the zapper. Healer at the back. And he's the healer and the scanner. scanner. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, Ben, I'm did suddenly it. like really looking forward to this hard mission now. So there's a Void Admiral. Mm -hmm. He's going to be an end boss. He's going to be an absolute killer. How many of these do you want? Just one alpha or two alpha? Probably just the one, because those double cogs are expensive. And I do think I prefer the alpha to the taser. Are we not allowing canticles? Um, no. All right, banning canticles, except in dire, dire emergencies. emergencies yeah. okay. Lord Agrilic. So I feel like we've probably we've, we've located the tomb. Now I love tombs. I love Egypt. I love the idea of a tomb. I love going under a pyramid. Yeah. You love space oh, Egyptian. God, I love. You love tomb. space. You love Egypt. You love robots. I love it, Necrons. Mush them all together. Yeah. You got a Necron. Deployment eleven. Okay. So if you if you're watching any of our Eight Lewis Bear streams, mm -hmm. holy shit. I fucking love, I love our streams at the moment. And we love you guys for watching. Yeah. I'm like, I can't believe you do. Because when, if, before we started streaming, like a couple of years back, I was like, no one wants to watch me and Lewis play strategy games, surely. You know, that's not what Twitch is for. Twitch is all but about. No one wants to watch us play strategy games on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not changed. <laughs> that has not changed. So God bless you all for watching. We couldn't do it without you. It would just be sad, really. Given, given them some initiative. So we're just, looks like this is a direct route. Oh God, so, okay, this is this is a very, um, very linear tomb we've joined here. Oh yeah, okay. We're gonna burn everything. Um, okay, so. Okay, you're gonna go for the full aggro attack. This, wow, this is the first time we haven't had an aggro option. <laughs> we're just gonna take some. Okay, take some selfies. Things. Selfies of us with the tomb. I mean, we can, we, we're, we're never gonna get this done in less than four. So we might as well not worry about long options. Like if we oh, find okay. an option that says like, oh, slow and steady, might as well just click that. Oh shit, lose two cogs and three wake up. But it doesn't matter because the wake ups are going to be Slow and steady anyway. lost the race there, hard. I'd like to go in with some cogs. No, no, no. We're going we're gonna to just take the egg. We're just going to wake everything up. We're just going to walk in going, hello, cast down the idols. Gather specimens. <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> this is just a disaster. A little chumpo got <laughs> what killed. Is going well, well, at least we sent the punch bots in to gather the specimens. Mm. We know what we're doing. We're not going to send tech priests in to gather specimens. Specimens. All right, so what's this? This is a glyph here. What's this glyph? Ah, oh, it's either side table, which we know gives us things, or creepy eye. Um, with creepy clown face. Clown, clown face. face. Is good. Clown face is good. Yay! Yay! God bless face. the clown face. So clown face has CPs on it. Apparently. I thought the side table that. had CPs on it. Oh, they're both clown faces. No, but this is it's two different clowns. That's the clown face that gives us the black. <laughs> that's the money face. That's the money face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we know that's good because we've clicked it like a bunch of times. Uh. It's giving us money every time. See, look, I knew we'd get to four, just you were right. by default. You were totally and then we're going to be fighting this guy for about 20 minutes. Fucking ages. Unless we surround him with punch bots, and then we do punch bots assemble order. We are infested. Insects must be expunged. We are dirty, aren't we? Like a ladybird, look. Oh, yeah. Dirty ladybirds. Oh, oh we're doing a thing. Amazing. It went well. <laughs> Good I job. Clicked, I clicked that one. But it said pray for pray for power. Pray Apparently for guidance. The machine got answered. He was like, Do you know what? Sometimes oh, cool. sometimes I have to pray to the machine god when my PC is like, oh my god, this is the tutorial mission. The one where you're gonna get wrecked. The which we passed, remember? We killed the yeah. broke the tutorial. We did we Kobayashi Maruda. Yeah, it's now over. I think that they've changed that. So you literally can't do it anymore. Oh, challenge accepted. No, in the tutorial. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> okay. But this is the tutorial mission. This is the same map, isn't it? So it's exactly got the different same enemies. Mission. So mission, kill everyone. Do you remember he comes down really? He does. He zooms far. down in like a turn or two. So what we how we did this before? We tutorial. hid in the sad hole. Yeah. Because he's his butt's too big. That's right. He's got a big ass. And ass he can't slash fit butt down. too big. <laughs> he can't fit down the sad holes. Um. 
we're not going to cheese it again, are we? I think we we, 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 we need to block the... Cor the thing is, he has a ranged, an air ranged close combat area of effect attack, which does a lot of damage. Yes. So, we, well, I think first of all, we have to decide if we're going to be cheese boys. Yes, of course, Ben. We, you are watching the Lewis and Ben cheese the world cheese stream. The world stream. <laughs> okay, we fine. literally have to. But okay. I think we we can block him with a punch roll, remember, in, in the... In the I, although bar. we've got three guys now, so we actually... Um, we can't cheese it. Someone's going to be vulnerable. Who's that? Oh, we can hide him down here. What's that 17 thing there? 17. He is uh, this guy, oh, right. Koto Peroto, with the flamethrower and the Volko. He's like the heavy boy. I think we're going to have to punch pot him down. I don't think we're going to have a choice. Now, okay, the thing about his attack is, though, remember, it, it's like an arc attack, like a cone yeah. attack. So we it need to keep like him everything. about four tiles apart, maybe even five. Okay, so I'm going to have the pistol sniper boy. He's going to hang out down here. And then the, the, the troop guy and the heavy guy. I'm going to hide down these sad holes. And then we spread out, um, and then we wait. Well, then we wait for him. Do we not put any chumpos down? Because we can, we can get a couple. We can get one down or two down in like decent places. There's no point in bringing them all down at once because he'll just AOE them. Yeah, but then we rush him. I think we wait till he's attacked. We wait till he's in place. Then we surround. And then him. we lock him in with punch bots. Okay, sounds good. All right, I'm happy with that. Here he comes. Was the war in heaven against the gods? That was um, when the old ones, the, like the Slan, fought the Katan. Oh, wow. And the Eldar were like sort of involved. All the Eldar gods and myths come from the war in heaven. Okay. Because, like, they're, that's how they remember the old ones, as like these sort of like Greek gods who like fought in heaven against the other beasts. Right. So it was the Slan? Well, I don't know if it's the Slan. It's the old ones. Right. may or may not be the Slan. Okay. It's hard to tell. Um, the super, the, what the slam is in? The, the Warhammer Fat Frog Boys. Yeah. Like, it's no, it's unclear whether the slam are the old ones or they're the servants of the old ones. Right. We don't know. Well, that's cool. Um, I think we just give it a turn, right? Yeah. Let's just go to press X. Just to give up. Oh. Okay. Yeah, literally just press X to pay respects. Respect. Hide in the holes, boys. He's coming. We. I know it's a cheesy, a cheesy game. Problem is, he's not going to come to us unless we give him bait. Do you think? I think he's coming. He's moved that far he has already. Moved that far already. All right, fine. We just got to assume he's going to carry off. Going to wait for him. Polite you boys. Delay. Yeah, just delay this time. How dare! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a big boy. Okay. Nightmare Shroud. That's new. Yeah, I don't know what that does. Tooltip, please. <laughs> please. Anyone in chat? No? Oh, the face oh, shift is hello. dodgy. Overwatch. Sorry, don't worry. We're not going to walk into that. We're not fucking chumps. Slan is the first board servers of the old ones. It serves as the overseers of the old ones, carrying out the old ones' plans and will. Mm. Slan were created by the old ones. There, go. there we go. Slan lawyers. That's what they are. They're like accountants and lawyers. Um, I'm just going to shoot him with a scan pistol. Let's see what's up. This is annoying camera. Ooh! Glad we brought the flamethrower. Oh, That's right. all I'm going to say, because he's got five energy armor, and almost all our weapons are energy based. Oh. Um, oh shit, you're right. So like this arc scourge is going to do like jack shit. Um, I think we give him another turn before we drop on. Yeah. Drop in on him, yeah. And then we do a super buff turn of doom. Yeah, we can't go out because he'll run. He'll just run in us. and get us, right? He might have a ranged weapon now. The sad hole tactic might have been. They might have. Yeah, they might have nerfed. Might have been hole. adjusted. We'll find out. So what's the range on this flamethrower? Oh, because we're down a little sad hor corridor, it's not great. Could we move out, flame him, move back? Probably, yeah, I reckon. Go for it. We'll do a little pop-up. Pop-up flame. Although then we'll have no um, no cogs for boys. Oh, if only we had a way to get loads of cogs. Should we do this? Cool down? Reduce cost by two? Yeah. Okay. 
just go down. No, reduced, reduced cost. Hit him with flames, because that's got. Then he's dotted, which will be big. Oh, that looks cool. Okay, and then we um, put ourselves back in the hole. Then I guess we'll send this boy off to go get a cog. Yeah, that seems like a legit strat. So yeah, then we'll get all the punch bots down next turn, and we run back in the hole. So we can use reinforce to get the. Vanguard out for one. For one, it? yeah, that's a good point. So hang on, how many? So okay, so we got. If we get two punch bots down, but we want to be able to use all of our abilities as well, you know. Yeah. We got to wait, right? I think we have to wait, don't we? Oh no, but this is where we have to deploy him. You want it to be even closer? Well, I just think if we give him something he can hit, then the splash might hit us. Well, the splash will cert almost certainly hit us. But, but, if, if, he, but if, we, if there's nothing for him to even hit, then he can't splash us. No, don't we just deploy now? No, he's not boxed in yet. I think we want to trap him. What do you mean boxed in? Like, if he moves once more and ends up, like, here-ish, right. then we can literally put punch bot here, punch bot here, punch bot here, and then he's stuck. Okay. And then we can just have our way with him. Delay. Let's see what he does. He might be able to get really a real angry, isn't he? And then shredding again. Oh, that flicks his armor type. Okay. Oh, he's in range. Okay. So okay, sad holes so now. Not he is. He's just got longer range now. Well, that's fine. He basically just ignore his friends, right? Yeah, we just kill him. Hardcore. Okay. Um, so give him a stab with the old free cog, cog points, I guess. Yeah, well, now he's got his physical armor up. I guess we want to hit him with the energy. That's true. We'll take the two damage. Walk up. Mark Scourge. Careful. Is that going to hit our dude? No, it looks safe. Seven. That's good. Um, servo skull. Yeah, we're just going to need all the cogs we can get. Turn that off. Then probe him. I don't think he's got one. Oh, yeah, he has. Nice. We'll have like that. that. Thank you. And then um, I guess we might as well drop a scan on these boys because it will. It's free. It's free and it will like, cool down. That guy's got four health. Yeah, he's literally just going to get dropped in one hit. It's probably not worth hitting him with the axe. Cause, no, because it won't do any damage. It's got five armor. Um, so call in a reinforcement. It's not really worth doing that either. Because uh, the, they can't do any damage to him. And he'll just die. Uh, yeah. But next turn, after he activates, he'll flip to energy armor. Really? If he yeah. does it every turn. I don't know if he will or not. I don't think he'll kill a guy in one shot either. But this does box him in. Which is not necessarily what we want. I think his I think his ability there was like an area of effect attack. I think it hit everyone around him. Right. But I think boxing him in is not gonna work unless we have everyone ready to go. So who's going first next turn? Maybe right. we just deploy all the peasants. Because then when they, at least they get when they get killed, we get the command points the points back. Yeah, that's true. I'm gonna wait. Uh, yeah, there's no point in bringing them in right now. Well, if you bring it in, we can then use the other ability. You know, if you bring it, but then when we it doesn't but work yet because his armor is yeah, tough. We have to wait for his armor to flip. Okay, you can heal ourselves, um, but maybe not. I mean, I could give them all. The problem is he activates before my guy who buffs the troops does. Mm -hmm. So maybe we bring the troops in, like out he activates first, out of range. He does next turn. So it's all our boys. Then new turn. Toto Peroto goes first, then that guy goes. Right, I see. But we've got all of our goes now. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to bring this guy up. The old... Um, can we stand by that cog machine? I guess a point. The start of the turn. That'd be good. Cog machine. Yeah. Suck off the cog machine. Give him some pistols. Might as well, while they're still doing energy damage. Yeah, yeah. Get them charged up. If he runs away and goes and cogs that guy, that'd be bad. But 
I'm running back actually into the sad hole. Yes, but then he, and we can block him up. We can literally just deploy punch bots here. And then they'll be out of range if he does an AoE, but they'll be in range to swamp him. All right, I think that works. Um, let's go grab a cog somewhere. Yeah, we probably need all the cogs we can get, right? Okay, he's already on Half-Life. Yeah, I think we can do this. Without too many injuries. Um, I'm gonna bring him here. Just keep him out of sight. I might as well drop the, um, drop the scanomatic. Where's that death mark on Down there? there at the bottom. Bottom. Seven. No okay. armor. No armor. He's a weak, weak little boy. Okay, then Toto Peroto. He can flame him again. He's got, the, he's got the physical armor up. Oh. But we could arc, arc him a question. I think we want to save all of our stuff. What's his other powers? Oh, we can get the canticle, can't we? Of course. Oh, yeah. Two cogs for a canticle. Um, should we do that? What canticles, canticles have we got? Max machine spirit. And most of our guns are kind of charged. Next energy attack will do six energy damage. I guess that just lasts until we get one. So maybe yeah, that'll last yeah. until like... Two cogs feels like a lot though, doesn't it? But maybe he uses that and then the Volkite or something. We don't have the Volkite. Oh, we do have the Volkite. I don't think we can use the Volkite because we're out of sight here. Oh, no, we're not. Okay. Just smash him to bits with the Volkite. Just fucking use yeah. the Canticle Volkite, but then... I'm going to use the Volkite Blaster, and then I'm going to Canticle to refill the cogs. Okay, that feels like a decent plan. Okay. That feels more efficient. And now we can use these... Oh. Well, that didn't fucking work, did it? What? We should have got nine cogs out of that. It only gave us three. Maybe it goes out first. Oh, it gives, it fills us up and then costs the two afterwards. Yeah. That's bullshit. <laughs> That's fucking shit. <laughs> yeah, I guess that, that refill canticle doesn't quite work. Don't don't bother going. Well, if I move him up, he'll be in melee, and then um, if he tries to move away, it's another axe. I suppose, yes, yeah, true. We're going to get hit anyway. I move away, though. All right. Here comes round two. The cogs regenerate. Oh, the boys oh. are deploying. That's not good. Oh, I'm annoyed. I thought we were going to have all our all our punch pots deploying this turn, but no, we're not. We are going to get most of them. Okay, well, we'll put one here just to um, fuck up that guy. Punch pot deployed, and then we'll get another punch pot like here. No, one further. Yeah. Right there. Why can't I put one there? That's weird. I think it's out of range, I guess. Yeah. Another one here. Oh, we only need one, don't we, on each? Oh, he's going to get fucked up. We have to put him in by reinforcements. Yeah, we'll bring him in by reinforcements. Right, who's first? Toto Peroto. He hasn't switched yet. He's still weak to energy. I guess we wait with this guy. We could or, oh, we could put the shield up. Yeah, the shield works. Or the other one, we just give all of our guys armor this turn. Because we might need it. Oh, yeah. Only to the tech priests. That's still fine, right? Oh, maybe not, though, in that case. All right, because, yeah, our chumps are going to get hit this turn. All right, fine. Let's he's, put the shield. Because he's got that. That's good. And then... Um, collect all cogs from one source. Is there a multi-cog up here? No. There's no multi-cog source. That's a shame. It'd be nice if there was. Yeah, I know, right? It'd be really handy. There's so often, like, those on. I know. This is, like, the first time we've been able to collect all at once, and... Not an option. Okay. Um, oh, we'll okay. save that. Ah, punch bot. Beep boop. Beep. Punch fest. Mm -hmm. It's weird how he swings when he does that. He's like, get over here. He can run in and taunt as well. Yeah, I find it really odd that the punch bots go first. You know? He could even just taunt from where he is. He doesn't have to, like, necessarily. He could run. taunt and then run down this way. He's going to... The thing is, if he moves, he's going to trigger Overwatch. Oh, yeah. And I don't want him to just die instantly. Is that going to actually taunt that guy? Yeah. 
Is he in range? Yeah, yeah it's coloured him. Okay, cool. Do it. Come get me. There we go. It does work on bosses. That's pretty overpowered, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's nuts. Okay. So he's now got to run and attack that punch bot. Yeah, and he, he will just stand still because he doesn't want to trigger Overwatch. Go on then, Agrolith. Um, I don't know if it was you that killed the gods. But sure, if that makes you feel better. Okay, damage absorbed. One damage yeah. punch bot. That's cool. Well, the um the refractor field took the brunt of that. He's still taking that burn damage. That burn damage mm. is not physical. No, it ignores armor. I think the burn damage. Um, okay, punch bots assemble. Yeah, this is it. Beep boop. We're gonna finish him off. Wow, we funny he had even more life. Let's look at this. We're wrecking him. Yeah. I wish he had like twice as much life. <laughs> you just so we could do the massive punch bot assault on him. Yeah, yeah. I love I love me a punch bot. Oh hello, even closer. Sure. Oh, this is getting a bit spooktastic. More cogs. Cogs for the cog god. Oh yeah. That's They, that, the punch bot whack is really visceral, isn't it? You kind of feel their jaw break when he does it. God, it's over, overloaded with cogs now. So it's more cogs than we know what to do with. Yeah. So we can bring in like um, a stab man up here. Maybe that's a good idea. That'd be pretty good. Or we can bring him in to um, stab the death mark without triggering Overwatch. That works too. Yeah, bring him in behind. I think that's good. Cool. Can we even trigger it so people get their troops attack off? So can you know the troops attack in range thing? Yes. Can that can we trigger that for the uh, de for the for this Qatari guy? Watch. Oh shit! If we deployed one like, square out, we can move around though, right? We could go here. But then is that going to trigger over? So let's. Tr tr well, well, I think it shows you if it does. I think it'll just, it'll trigger. Yeah. Okay. And then we tell him to attack that guy. Get a free hit in. Well, then he will teleport. Try it out. Okay. Free attack, please. Stab. Oh, he didn't teleport. Interesting. Um, right, then all my oh, boys... We should have done that before. Well, we couldn't. This is the Oh, first but this is for their next attack anyway. Yeah, for next, next time the troops Just attack... Just one attack. But they also get the armor as well. That's oh, no, you choose. Give them all plus one. So give them the armor, because they're not actually attacking that much this time. Let's make them tough. Because we've got punch bots. They're all... You're right. They're all in... They've all been getting hit. Uh, not the hog sketch. X. He's about to go down. He's going to go down hard. Uh, and then we'll just meet up with our other boys up here. Yeah. Can head off. Is that going to be opportunity attack? Oh, <laughs> he did a 360 no scope. Oh my god! <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> the actual legit 360 no scope. I love it. Oh shit! Oh no, not so. We can heal ourselves. We could spend. Oh yeah. Or or move and shoot. What do you uh, Be nice to know how nearly dead he is. Oh, we could also blast him with the old fucking melee. Boy, the arc scourge is ready, but I think he's already taken a couple of whacks. He's probably nearly dead anyway. All right, we'll move up, see how far he is towards being dead. Yeah, we can always heal later. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, not dead at all. Not dead at all. Oh, because he's got the three melee armor, the three physical armor. All right, let's give him the arc scourge then. Two, shit. Seven. See, that's much better. He okay. can still heal himself. No, we're out of no. Right. Bam, bam, bam. Shooting out Vanguard, but it's reduced. Yeah, that's the armor mark. we gave him. It's holding up. Right, stab that death mark. To death. Very dead. And then I guess go and stand next to this guy. Yeah. Seems good. Um, this boy, the Pistolino. Oh, yeah, we can Pistolino a boy. Gonna, all right, step forward. Give him a pistol, loving. Thank you. I guess you can step out and shoot one of the guys up the uh, hill. Yeah, because well. Punchbot can finish that corpse off, right? 
Yeah. Um, so we'll... Oh, we'll get the free thingy. Free dog. Oh, that's the one we want to kill. That one. Yeah. Yeah, it's an easy one. Nice. Perfect okay. amount of damage. Um, and we get free heals on there. Plonk the friendly okay. neighborhood. Yeah, interface with friend. Stocking. Look at this. Stocking probes. Look at that. Yeah, the free heals. Free heals. I will take free heals any day of the week. And then you can Please. duck him back around again. You can do a cog heal if you wanted. Might as well save it though. Yeah, pretty, pretty needy, don't we? Not in a rush. Oh, it's gone up to five. I don't know if we've ever seen a five. Oh, yeah. Maybe we shouldn't have. Maybe we shouldn't have stormed into the tomb screaming at the top of our lungs. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise that was even a... I didn't even realise it could go that high. So what, they, they reanimate a turn faster again. Another yeah. Faster. So I guess they just like one turn reanimates now. Okay. Is he still alive, by the way? He is. These punch bots didn't attack? Or are you already attacked and forgotten? I don't know. But hang on, no, they still get to go. It's okay. Well, this is a new turn now. I thought I'd... Um, I guess I hadn't taken their go. Well, you can attack him. With well, the he's only got right? two health left, so it's fine. I'm going to just take the finishing blow. Stack him up. Okay. It critted him, so we don't have to... De gras. Watch them crumble. Oh, that's it. Oh my god, that was it. We didn't have I thought to we had to wipe everyone out. out. Good thing we did our heals. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Oh, that was a bit of a sudden sudden end. Wow, we shouldn't have even worried about all the rest of it. We were, we were ready to take out the whole the rest of the uh, Yeah, dungeon. I was ready to ready to go. Oh, that was a Man. piece of cake. That's how you kill the voider. That was a that was a delicious piece of cake. So this is going to be five percent. Um, it is going to reward us with um, cool shit. The sad hole strategy then was just unbelievably legit. So this is the plasma caliber. So this is fires in a straight line. Oh, so you can hit multiple I guys. Think it's just a straight up yeah. multi blaster upgrade because that sort of means I don't. Know it does same damage, but it destroys armor and does something else. Can you go back to the plasma caliber? It also um, oh, it destroys two of each armor when it's um, running hot, but that means. The, the Volkite Blaster fires cheaper when it runs hot. That's true. Level oh, three level three punch bots. Mm. I, love a, I love me a punch bot. Didn't lose too many points. Mm. I still think it's worth a look. Maybe we swap out this Scourge for it. Or possibly um, the dual wheel guy gets one. But maybe we switch out one of the scourges. Um, let's have a look at the blaster. What does it do? Range 15, 6 to 8. Okay. And then the plasma. We can't see the range on here. Unplug. Range 12, 5 to 7, but passes through units. Can we stick that on the guy who gets extra damage with energy weapons? And range. Surely it goes on the range and damage boy. Because yeah. extended range on a gun that hits everything in a line. You'd think it would be better, wouldn't it? Sounds really good. I mean, the machine spirit has been nerfed on this. It's not free anymore, it's one. Yeah, which is quite a big difference. Maybe we should still rock. I don't know if we want two plasma calibers, though. I don't think we want two. I think we just keep this guy with his pistols because he oh. was fine last time. But getting him and clonking and up, all that. Upgrading the, the shooting a line gun to tw to 16 range? That sounds amazing. I think this guy, though, he can. Plus, he can use the canticles for free. I think maybe we need to put a point into fucking. Um oh, he's already got the Texocillium. Tex Where are we going with. Oh, plus one cognition point on killing That's Where are we going? Okay. Give him another squid head. Squid head. We want to get this ready. Yeah. Okay, so now every time he kills something, he gets a cognition point back. So if he can blast, like, flame a bunch of flayed ones or... I mean, this is our cognition point user. Mm. I feel like there's always going to be two people in the line if he's positioned smartly. Yeah, it's just harder with 12 range rather than 16 to pull it off. I still think that this guy's, like, brawling it up. He's in the thick of it, you know? And this guy is in the thick of it as well. Because they've got the axes. They're in the thick of it. If we get another tech priest, we'll make him, like, less in the thick of it. I mean, 
this guy has reveal enemy stats when in melee range, which is nice. And movement and angered spirit and power field. Uh, if no ranged weapons are equipped. Mm. So he's like the run in there. Explorator's but like. just terrible, I think. Mm. We've got Sector. We know what this guy does. Lex Mechanic. So we don't think we have a full ranked Lex Mechanic. No, we don't. We've got only half spec into it. His active is to fill the cognition gauge. Oh, cool down five turns. But, but just like, oh, here you go. Six cogs or five cogs or however many you can have. And then an engine seer is restore all HP on tech priests. Wow. Restore all help on troops. So but this is the healing guy. Yeah. We don't have one of So them. I think we'll get the healing guy next mm. and go all the way down here. Because I don't know about these, how many negative effects we're going to have, but they might come in later in the game. Yeah, more acid and stuff like that. Okay, well, we should start saving up our Blackstone then. So when we get the fourth guy, we can just send him straight up to level whatever. Yeah, it'd be nice to have. I think Lex Mechanic is a great second tier, especially because this. I think. Yeah. Probably for killing. Sounds really good. Especially if you're like killing a whole bunch of stuff with a flamethrower. You know, I, f I feel like. I feel like having. Just stacking this on this guy makes more sense to have this badass loadout of stuff. You know, we've got a couple more uh, tiles for him to use as well, so maybe we give him even more like coggies. Is there anything stuff. else that gives him cogs? Can he have a get cogger? Cog get. A cog get. Oh, a, a get sp a spiker. Yeah. You can have two spikes. Yeah, give him two spikers, because then if he's uh, like. He's never going to use two. No, he totally is, because he can use both on the same guy. No, he but they only have one in them. But they don't, because we did it and then killed him, and he still got another one out. Can you keep getting them out of him? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's DP. <laughs> D double cog. <laughs> the <laughs> double <laughs> poke. The double poke, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it feels pretty powerful, doesn't it? Right, what are we doing? So we got normal difficulty, mm -hmm. find some adamantium alloy to get a refractor field generator. This is obviously a better version. Yeah, it's a bigger one. version of the, f the one we've got. Which is useful. We do use it, and that's a lot of blackstone. Yeah, so it looks fairly easy. That's got destroys it. Got unlocks Guitar Vanguard. Upgrade mm -hmm. this weapon, which we don't use, or get this thing, which we're supposed to use. Target troop. It gets plus one damage. So our guy has minus one cooldown on this thing. Yeah. So, so you could use that every turn to target a troop and give it plus one attack. That's a bit, a bit meh. Or a better axe. Well, you are using two axes. Upgraded army specs that we don't use. Well, there's not a lot of choice here. I just want to do the hardest one. Yeah. Wait, well, which one gets us more most to like winning the game? I don't know. What's the, I think we might have to just do this easy one, get it, get it done. Because it does give us the thing for the troops boy. And I feel like that's a pretty powerful object for him to have. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, he's got the skill for it. But then again, maybe it does cost a cog. A cog for a damage? Is that really that good? Oh, um, what are people saying? Skeleton has? Poetry Knight says that he thinks that buff lasts the entire game once he cast it. That's really broken then in that case. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's well, do that. that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're going to take Troops Boy. So this is another w easy mission, so you're only allowed to send Pizantius. It's weird oh. they don't level up based on it. No, we can choose the level ups, can't we? Shall we take one of each? What a Taze boy. A Taze boy, we haven't tried him yet. Okay. And a regular sword boy. In the, oh, can we look at the punch bot stats? Because they're level three now. Yeah, so they're now do uh, more damage, have more health, and that's it. And they've got a skill that adds eight to their HP? No, that's default. Oh, right. So yeah, they're, they're, I think they, they start off as like three. Oh, yeah, they start maybe at five, don't they? Oh, maybe they are like now thirteen then. Uh, we'll find out. All right, good luck, Ben. Oh, hang on, you have to do anything, do you? I have to do this. I have to do all the Mexican hats and toilets and soft coffee tables and weird. Mexican oh, symbols. chat saying reread that skill. Apparently, it's only on the next attack, so it doesn't stack. Mm. Okay. Well, I suppose you can build it up though. Oh, well, we're doing it now. Reread. Broken my chair. Oh. What is up with this chair? Beep boop. We're going to have to fight a little battle here immediately. Oh, no. That's not what I'm here for. You don't want to have to fight a battle. Uh, Jacob donated. He says, uh, high as fuck, brah. Hope I didn't accidentally <laughs> send like $5,000 dues. If so, <laughs> please send me back. No, man. Thanks for the $5,000 donation. That's amazing. No, you donated <laughs> five bucks. Thank you, Jacob. <laughs> um, very generous. 
Three X says Lewis and Ben on the mission screen. You can hold space for secrets. What? Is that a cheat? Is that like a troll? Is that like press F in GTA? Does that speed it up? Does that pa is that past turn? <laughs> yeah. All right, it's your go here, Ben. By um, I guess that's on the with the screen we were just on, so we've missed missed a chance to find out what space. Tech was. priests must escape. Um, oh, so it's only it's only our boy, isn't it? Um, the one guy. Where's he at here? Okay, there's a lift that goes over there. I think we should go there and just go and escape, don't you? Yeah, escape. Okay, fine. Boom, we're in. Start battle. We've got no cogs, so we can't bring in any boys. Is it an anthropocyte? Yeah. Me Mecha snack. I think you'll find they're called. But nope. no cog arenas. We're going to have to go cogging, because we can't get our boys in without cogs. Should I just beam in a punch bot to start getting cogs? Oh, yeah, you can beam in like a, a dude immediately. Just beam in punch bot to farm, farm cogs. That's a flayed one. You don't want to fight him. You want to fight... Oh, they're all flayed ones. Yeah. But if we come in over here, then they can't all just gangbang him and hopefully he won't die. I kind of want him to get gangbanged there a little bit. A little bit. I want him to have a gentle gangbang. <laughs> you know, just enough that he can feel it, but not so much that it hurts him. Yeah. Well, uh, let's hope he... <laughs> I'm sure he, if he's having a gangbang, I'm sure he's going to feel something. But maybe his soul is so dead. <laughs> <laughs> he can't even Ooh, feel it. Oh, he got critted. <laughs> Feels bad. That's not what he signed up for. Um, bash. Punch bot likes to punch. Opportunity, oh, yeah. One opportunity. Okay, just hold your ground, punch bot. Stand firm. We will Find arrive that soon. that red laser out of your dick. <laughs> <laughs> Here they come. Yomp. Oh, good. The armor's standing The armor's strong. holding. Excellent. Oh, he's getting there. me cogs. Free cogs. That's he's, what he's there. He's breeding. He's going to breed punch bots. More punch bots are going to spawn. His arrival has allowed from his butop two more punch bots to appear. That's right, in they come. Um, we'll send in the uh, the ranger because he is far. Oh no, we'll send in the the taser goad, right? Oh, okay. so you can AOE them. Oh, uh, but this guy is. Oh, he just avoids. Yeah, the a we'll send in the AOE guy. Does it say the taser goad deals damage? Area area damage. damage. <laughs> <laughs> this that's... unique weapon damages the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Can we have a look at him. <laughs> Kind of cool. Can you use guy. the power in Mel. Can use it in this view as well. Bzzzed. Oh my god! It's blinding. Can barely see anything. Super critted that guy. I like it. Oh look, he's having to go the other long way round. Oh, sad snack. He's we nomming all of our. Oh no! Now I've blocked my own line of sight. Well, we can go and get those two coggles. Oh yeah, two double cogs. Um, I could do a command fire as well, actually. Oh yeah. That'd be pretty good. Let's go get coggles. We'll get the cogs. Well, actually, can I do command fire now? Oh, no, I've got no cogs left. All right. Coggles. If you get the cogs. I kind of wanted to end my turn here and get two cogs next turn as well. If I can do it, I'm not stopping but you. But I'm hoping I'm in range. No, I'm not in range for that. That's the problem. Maybe I will have to move. Who's next? That guy. Mm, yeah, he might kill. You're just going to run on you to the... Um... But I want to save Punchbot. Punchbot, they love you. Well, the best way to save him is to be aggressive right now, right here and now. Let's leave the cogs behind. Goodbye, sweet cogs. I love you. Which one do you think needs to be here? That one. That's the one that's going next. It's Bam! And then he's going to finish with the tase. Um, free cog. Free cog, yeah. What do we want to do with that? We can heal up. We could oh. give him all armor. Yeah, it'll give him plus one damage on the next attack. That might work. Uh, can we shoot this? Uh, sure. Toughen him up. Oh, good boy. Oh, I love you, Bob. There's, there's so many options in this game. I know. There's, there's so much choice. So much choice. And all of it feels like... It's all got an impact. It's not it? necessarily, like, an easy decision either. Like, you know? It's not like... It's not an obvious choice often. Escape. Oh, Punchbot's going to escape. <laughs> Escarpe, Punchbot! Be free! Be free! I love you! That lift is now going there! Oh, I should have paid attention the to bananas that. Bananas lift. Oh, look, all of the lovely, delicious cogs have returned. Okay, we can taze. Taze on day. He's on there. Lovely. A lovely cog and a dead um, boy. Taze boy, a scarp. The nice thing about bringing one fucking tech priest. <laughs> yeah. Is that we don't actually have to bother fighting them. We can just you leg just it run. out the door. Right. See you, nerds.
Well, let's find out if this actually works. Oh, oh bullshit. You're kidding me. I'm calling bullshit on that. What was that? What was that? I can't Fucking just lame. go like that. That is lame. Escape to the point. And then, oh, oh by, by the, way, the way, you still have to kill everything. Even though you probably, you know, you could have easily run past enemies, taken loads of damage, thinking, oh, I'm going to escape now. This game fucking fucks you so hard. Why? <laughs> Why? Hey, that sucks. Unsubscribed. That's so ridiculous. <laughs> oh, look at the chat. Jacqueline Torn says, uh, you only need to escape anyway. Don't worry about it. Oh. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> um, totally not Jacob again. Lewis and Ben. Are you interested in saving the wasteland in Fallout 1 and 2? Why hasn't this been a thing yet? We know that you enjoy classic turn-based games, and Lewis has been a Fallout fan for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? I've never played Fallout 1 and 2. Oh, wow. I played... I got about halfway through Fallout 2. Um, I didn't own it, but I borrowed it from a friend like when it came out. And I enjoyed it, but then I had to give it back, and I never went back. I think we should do Lewis and Ben save the wasteland. I'm up for that, aren't you? Yeah, That's we'll stick it on the pile. It's definitely on the, on the pile. Currently, the games I'm most excited to finish are, I really want to finish off Space Hulk. I want to play yep. the Gene Steeler campaign. I want to see how that goes. I, just want to I don't want think I want to do the whole Gene Steeler campaign. I think I just want to play like a couple of missions. And see how it goes. See how it goes, yeah. Maybe. But I mean, I feel like we're doing, I'm really enjoying our Space Hulk streams. We did one yesterday. It was good fun. Yeah. I'm looking forward to Thea again. Yeah, me too. But I also feel like I already want to restart. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we've, well, we learned a lot, didn't we, um, in the last playthrough. So like. You know, now the we know. Story is bad. Now we know we can do it better. But that's not what we want. From oh, yeah. No, we want to like level up our peeps. We want to have stuff. like a cool people population. Yeah. And be efficient. Do we have to install Voxcasters to dampen Xenos taint? Um, apparently, that's what it says. I think you skip the mission text. Where is the? Where where would we have to install? Oh, that's our like overall. Oh 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 right. This oh, thing. Oh, oh right. Um. Right 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 right. Right, right, right. Oh. Punch no! Oh. Punch bots! He was so young and punchy. Oh, he punched his last punch. He had such a opportunity to be a... Just shoot the put pistol first before you run in. Well, it's got like super armor, so I thought I'd still do. The, still do one damage. Save the charge. Only on a crit. So an axe him. You could have uh, poked him for a free... Oh, oh. yeah, he could have interfaced. You could have cogged him up. Gotta remember to give him a poke before you. I'm still oh. sad about punch. This is a powerful ability, isn't it? Yeah, this is good. This is real good. A single cog. The, the fact is that you can bring in a guy who costs multiple cogs. Yeah, it's gonna be really broken when we get the super robot. Oh, we did just walk him straight into acid. Getting, getting fucking reamed. Um. Okay. Yonk. Slice. Yeah, oh, we need to get the heal on. Bit of acid. Get my Heelys on. Uh, Where are your Heelys, Ben? Yeah, I should always put my Heelys on. The ones with the flashing lights. You think he's out of the question, is he? Well, there's no point because he's got a low damage energy attack and he's got like moderate. What does that heal. do? Um, it it hits everyone in the area for one. But what else? And that's it. And what? Well, just like two to four to the target. Um, maybe run in and axe him. Poke him and axe him. Yeah, if I grab a cog from here. Can you run around the back of it? And then I'm thinking, grab, oh. how much movement have I got? Can I get that one and that one? No, because he's in the way. Oh. Okay. So I go and get this one. All right. Then I come here. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Then you ask him a I, question. I, I, I nom. You, you spike him a question. Spike, let's spike him. And then I and that hopefully will finish him off. Ah, shit. Okay. Um, Can you heal up the friend pot? Oh, he's one out. One space out. And then we tell him, oh, yeah. command fire. Die. Die. Captain Troops. He's Put doing it, it. Oh, when you get all the cultish points that are left on the map at the oh, end. Oh, okay. Why. That's good to know. So it does replenish. So you can use them all. So you don't have you can't kill people without taking your whole turn. Oh, why can he reduce by four? Ooh. Wow. That's pretty cool. I didn't realise that was such an impactful thing, killing the killing them. 
you, you don't like right. smiley face. <laughs> so this is actually good. Okay. I think it's heal. Uh, is he good. dead? Is did he it just bring back a servitor from the dead? Did it heal a dead punch bot? He's not on our thing at the bottom. Oh, I hope it brought back punch bot. I don't want to lose one. Smiley face. What, what are all the smiley faces for? Mm. All of them. There's only two. I like how our chat moves so fast. It moves so, so slow. It's, it's a very laid back stream. Yeah, look, he's yeah. back. Ancient technology has revived Punchy. Punchy El Puncho. El Puncho returns. Uh, survive three rounds. That sounds easy enough. Oh, you have to go to that thing, it looks like. You don't have to, but we can if yeah, we want to. Like we need to go. That's the mission objective. It says survive three rounds. But that's the battle objective. Yeah. Now, this is the battle. I think we have to go to the thing. Should I go to the thing. I'll go to the thing anyway, but I'm, I'm stating for the record that I don't think we have to. <laughs> yes, you do. Go to it. Okay. Go to the thing. I'm oh going. Oh, my God. I'm going. It's just a flayed one on the It's fuck all here. Oh, it's because it's cause we haven't got any awakening. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. But they don't start with any bloody bots, do they? I'd forgotten. Okay, we go over here. We re reinforcements in a, 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 a fell oh, out of range. Boo. Oh, yeah. Um, is there anyone over here? No. Jeez. Um, is it worth bringing someone in? Not yeah, definitely. Ported? They haven't been yet. Oh, no, they no, they have been yet. Okay, mate. Cool. Bring in the swordman. Swordman, I choose you to appear directly here. You um, can skull him. Can't, can't skull him. Too. Well, I could come in close. No, the servitor skull him. Buff oh yeah, give him the give buff. Him the buff. Buff skull. Go. And then do the damage buff thing that you can cast. Should I cast that next turn? Oh no, I go last next turn. Fuck right, it. Fine. Plus two damage. There you go. And then bam, he can then like just uh, match his guys straight away, right? Yeah, and then I guess what spend a cog to just run off over here? Yeah. You're giggling. Tee hee hee. See you later. Oh, and I've got the, the, the scanner. Okay. Still out of range. Okay, I think we're done. <laughs> that was a lot of action. So many actions. So I feel like if we had the other thing, we could then give him another damage. One. And then the chances if you crit, I guess all that extra damage all stacking up is making a very powerful little boy. Yeah, I think, yeah, you just stack it all. Oh, there's a fella. Ooh. There's lots of boys coming. Okay. Well, we can box that warrior in with a with a nerd. With a, with a punch bot. Boop. No, behind him even, because we can... Oh, yeah. What do you mean behind him? Well, there, because then... Now he's got nowhere to escape. Yeah. Okay, that looks good. Because every square is in melee. Every square's in melee. Okay, we give him a free, free punch. And then we taunt him. We could just go for the scan, maybe. Okay. This guy's just going to get killed as he walks away. Wow, what a, what a, what a play that is. <laughs> yeah. Never had a chance, that guy, did he? he didn't, did he? The flayed one did one damage. one damage. Is that just a super low roll? It must be. I mean, we had one armor, so he rolled a two. This guy just rolled a one. Like, why are these so hell? bad? Flayed ones scary seem like all. absolute garbage. Everything does more Hot damage. Hot garbage. Than. Okay, so we can crack him with a pistol. Oh, oh my god. god. Total crap. Just leave him. Fuck it. Well, I wanted to stick my dick in him. Oh, go do that. Yeah. <laughs> <Me needle. laughs> Sorry, my needle. <laughs> my dick. <laughs> there we go. And then I'll just axe him and walk off. Now, if I walk off now, he's going to hit me. Oh, what? Is he? Oh, yeah. Right. Um, I walk. thought I was going to kill him. Oh, here we go. Punch bot. Finish. Oh my god. Is that going to do the bonus damage? <laughs> punch bot get bonus damage? For the next attack, even though you uh, can have a punch bot question mark? Oh, smiley yeah. face? Question mark, smiley face. We may never know. <laughs> uh, should we run over there? Yeah. Sure. Run over here. Push the boot on. Summon loads more. Get this party started. Cash money. Making it rain. Ding, 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 ding. Then shoot that fucking thing. Oh, you can't. No, I'm done. All right. Maybe you yeah. back a bit. You might want to axe the panel a question. I can't this turn. He's on cooldowns. This guy, stab. 
Yeah. Ouch. Oh, that's a crit. Not dead, though. Hot crit. But if we back off, will he then get um, reactioned? What if you come into range of him? If I go over here and then he comes to me and like, get a free stab. I don't know. Maybe, maybe flayed ones ignore reactions. I don't know. They have a long old respawn, don't they, on them? Yeah, because the awakening's down. Survive zero round. And now it's kill all enemies. Amazing. <laughs> I so I think maybe the way it works is like it will stop spawning stuff in when you trigger that. Ah, uh, you know, right. I see. So the quicker you do it, the better. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, yeah, he's just fine. Or should we finish that guy off? Oh, no, we'll hit that. We've got time on that one. Bash. He's dead. Dead. Oh, Punchbot, I love you. Go get this guy. Punchbot, I love <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, he's so good and cute. The Servitor. The classic cute <laughs> yeah. kawaii <laughs> Look at character him. of... Uh, <laughs> Beep boop. <laughs> <laughs> You're my favorite Punchbot. Never change. Just those big anime eyes. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. The big eyes. <laughs> They're just so dumb and derpy. They're amazing. And they make me money. They love to get punched. And they love to punch. They're the right people for a war. Hang on, shoot the control panel to reduce the awakening. Oh, I was going to... Um, Will you leave? All right. Oh, man, it's not going to kill it. Let's walk back and exit. Just trying not to do that. Might do. We're all high. Ah! Well, you can shoot it now. Yes. Of course. But just think about how much awakening that reduces. See, it's given us a whole turn. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, Who's the service card on? Who needs it? Who hasn't been yet? It's the question. I suppose the it's already on him. Let's no, no. yeah. so so leave guess. it. I uh, can't heal. Dunzo. Um, does that range, does that fade or not want to? No, he didn't want to walk into my sword. Wow. This, this okay. guy is much better than the guy with the taser. He's so much better. I think he might be leveled up. He might be a level two. No, he's not. Isn't he? Honestly, I promise you. I level well, one. like walk him over here. Maybe that'll get him more, more reaction swings. Are they always, oh, are those fade ones always going to attack him? Because of the red, you see that red thing? Oh, yeah. They're, they're, I think they're maybe like mindless and they just always attack oh, the that nearest target. Thing. That really is interesting. Okay, we need to kill that warrior. Yeah, we up. do. Okay, let's just box in this boy. I think it's fair enough that they've added opportunity for Nick Warriors. Yeah, because they've got a little axe on the end of their sword. Yeah, so. they're not terrible okay. melee. I've got a thing. They're pretty bad at melee. Um, go yeah, punch okay. pot and taunt that boy. Get him off, get him off the ranger. Oh shit, it didn't stick. We resist it. Maybe they can't be taunted. Oh, maybe. Maybe they automatically attack the nearest target. Yeah, regardless. So we need to destroy that guy before he wakes up. Yeah. Uh, it's, he's the one that's going to wake up first, right? Yeah. And the other guys have got like two turns each on them, I think. So we could just leave and... Get yeah, we could probably finish the mission before they wake up. Oh yeah, it did work. The taunt worked. Okay. Spread that damage out a bit. Get me some more cogs. Pretty cool. Um, can we move to a place where we can shoot the... Um, I want to with this guy. Oh, I was going to say, if we kill both blade ones this turn. Oh, I see, yeah. Then we don't need to mop up the corpses. No, that would have been smarter. Um, beam in a boy. They actually do less damage. And hey, what else? What else do we want? Scan them? Why not? Yeah. Wow, he's about to die. Yeah, he's super dead. You move. Why is that? See where the movement? Can you move to like the edge there? Why am I that gonna... tile unblocked? Is that tile blocked by something? Apparently it is. Yeah. Do you reckon it's because something died there? Yeah. Seems a bit bugged. But sure. That's weird, isn't it? Okay. May as well just give everyone plus two attack. Good idea. Ah. All right, good luck. Well, he's definitely dead. He's super dead. See, all those buff buffs stacking up. The problem is, like, you need so many cogs because you need to 
you need to be able to like summon them all and then cast all the buffs. Ah, there's a use for the taze. Oh yeah. Because it arced like three squares away and killed a corpse. And it didn't kill anyone on our side. Arc. We're all ground we all wear rubber boots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when especially when Taze Boy's running around. So Taze Boys have mass corpse kill. Just put these big Johnnies over our boots. Volume level omega. Let's turn the volume up to max. Maximum maximum preaching. Okay. That's what they wanted. They wanted us to turn it up to max. Let's go in here, finish this mission. Purge. Let's do awakening. Right. Freld says, I realized the service girl is basically just beep you on. <laughs> that was almost a one. That was almost a one time zone. We oh, shit. Man. What, if we'd had done it in one turn quick? Oh, but it said two, and now it's gone to three. Oh. What? Maybe it's a minimum of three? Maybe it's both? I don't know. Um, shroop, shroop, sir. Oh, shroud sarm. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Not, not shroop waffle. Shroop waffle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, press space bar for, for clues. Go on, then. Oh. Why is this a thing? It's like a bonus secret mission. It's like a secret mission. It's servitor easy. <laughs> is, that, is that easier than easy? And you get... Oh, that's the energy only heart. Oh, All energy okay. is that's game plus two energy damage for one round. That's good on the pistol boy, isn't it? That is good. Infestus mechadendrite. And oh, it's a melee. Thing. It's a melee probe. What does it do? Deals the damage. Knocks them back as tile. Oh. Okay. One turn cooldown. Can it push people off? Edge. I don't want to do an easy mission. No, we just didn't. Servitor easy. What does that mean? Servitor. I mean, it's so easy that it's like even a servitor could do it. It's like a secret mission on the bottom. That was really interesting. So, who, who which tech priest is this? It's a secret one. What's going on? What world are we in? The ghost world. Click on him. Does it? It's this guy. Oh, well, this guy who died. Oh, the dead guy. Ah, he's left a little mes message for us. We should definitely do a hard mission, though, don't you think? I don't think there are any. Let's look at the progression. Like, which part of the, the place are we in? How do you get to that screen? I don't know. I did it before somehow. Mm. There's a bit where it tells you, like, which part of the world to... I know, I know. What did I press? Is it his face? Top face? Ah, I did. Mm. So we are in the Uber Joe sector. Yeah, how do we get out of that? Well, we need to do this many missions, I guess, to unlock missions in this sector. Oh. But I assumed that... So we don't need this one. We decided that's rubbish. This is... None of these have stuff that we want. This is the latest mission. Arc pistol. Well, it's, an, it's a cone pistol that does, like, hardly any damage. I just want high damage weapons, I think, back. AoE is not super helpful. Sanctus Canister. Oh, that seems terrible. What do people? What do people want us to do? I want to do the secret mission. Okay, let's do. This. Should we? Um, we bought. We just got a new toy after that mission. They didn't. We? we got a reward. That we need to put on someone. What was it? Um, we got Gunbot. Oh, we, we did. Gunbot? We, got, we got this. No, he's not Gunbot. He's a Skatari Ranger. He's a. Oh, he's a dude. He's a man. He has revealed enemy statistics when dealing damage. Nice. Oh. Deals a single target range attack that deals two to four energy damage. Okay. So these guys are like solid. They're scanners and plinkers. Plinkers. Plinker, plinker boys. Scan and plink. Look at this though. Level three servitors. Four to five physical damage. Oof. Opportunity attack. Oh, torn. Cognition points. <laughs> so much better. <laughs> free, free to spawn. <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah, so break. much yeah. better. Like, come on now. <laughs> and what was the thing we got I given? I can't remember. We haven't uh, tried the... Oh, the big the crystal thing. The cognitive cast. Oh, yes. This goes on Pezantius. Yeah. Where does it go on him? Let's unplug that. He's not... Scans. Crap. Right, there we go. He's got it. Cool. Even more good trooper, thank you. Now, he probably needs... A f a, a, that easy... I mean, it's such an easy pickup. The first rank of Tech Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, just two... Two cogs off your big gun. Oh, is it... Is it broken again? We're now oh, at I minus can't. 400. I can't. Oh. I think it just spent. You spent the level like three times. 
<laughs> Oops. Found a bug. Bugged. Oops, bug. That's all right. Oh, I thought he... <laughs> I also saved, the last time I saved it manually was also after a bug. What time is it now? It's nearly time to stop. Right. That's true. Was this the one which we just... Oh, I can Perhaps live with like losing 400 Blackstone. Like, it's not the end of the world. We're, we're yeah, doing I don't well. want to bug it out, though. Oops. So I think we didn't have enough to spend. So I think I tried to upgrade it. Yeah. But apparently we didn't have enough. I thought. And we also did. it hasn't actually upgraded it. Look. No. He's still at the same level. Look, still ranked 10. But also now I can only press this one, you see. Right, I'm going to reload. Uh, we're going to cut stream early then, in that case, because it's a bug. And also, um, Ben needs a break before we start. I do. I need um, a little lie down. Anyway. Uh, save, Tom. you reload it, will fix it, I think. Okay, I'll check it out. All right, thank you very much. Uh, see you in five to ten minutes for Tom and Ben playing Warhammer. Yeah. Um, thank you, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.